Hello, everybody. Welcome to Weekly Trash, the safe place to cleanse your mind, body, and soul of all that trash you consume this week so you can consume some more tomorrow. And I'm your host, Josie Van Dyke, and I am sitting next to the cute preggy girl, Aubrey Edgington, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Weekly Trash. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so already excited. sweating, but I'm really excited. No, I'm so excited. We've been chatting already. <laughs> well, yeah. I've been, like it's already three we o'clock. We've been podcast. chatting for yes. thirty minutes. So we have a lot to catch up on. Let's let's get started, Aubrey. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How far along so are you? I am. I think twenty weeks today. Halfway. I feel like it's kind of funny. Like the third, you like don't keep track as much. Yeah, I'm you're like, like, what am I? How am I? Yeah, and it's but a I think boy. I'm 20. It's a boy. So yes. excited! I know. Because when we met in St. George, mm-hmm. you were trying to get pregnant. Yeah, like you literally yeah. like pulled over the side before you came, and you're like, "We need to go have sex." Oh my gosh, I <laughs> forgot about that story. <laughs> Stop! I'm like, wait, what? You were like, um, "Yeah, before we left, yeah. I had to be like, and I'm I, ovulating." I like literally wonder if that was the time that it happened. No way. I don't know. And I'd have to actually go back in time and go look because that was that when was, was that? May. So would that have been it? I don't, I don't think know how to so. do the math. Okay. I don't think so. I feel Dang. like you would have. How if cool I had would that to have guess, been? I feel like you probably created this child in July. Okay. How are you so smart? You know how to go back that like because that. Because that would have been. You're 20 weeks. Yeah. You announced it. Yeah, you're right. No, it yeah. is. Because then when I July. asked me, yeah, like when my last period was and yeah, everything, yeah. it was like, yeah, July. Yeah. I'm Dr. Josie. Which I'm not great at. Like, I, I don't have like a regular period. So for me, it's like hard to track. Has, but that have is you always so been that way? First time I met you that I told you that story. Yeah, no. You're um, like, yeah, we want to have sex. Yeah. Guys, that is not my type of person, like not my personality at all. Really? Oh, not at all. I just bring it out of people to just like <laughs> tell me about their ovulation cycle. Well, I was driving. Well, now we got to tell the story. I was driving down to St. George. Yeah. For a mixer's Yeah, the mixer's little retreat. retreat. And Shout out And my mixers. husband works in Lehigh. So we were driving past Lehigh. My best friend was like, you're trying to get pregnant. You're ovulating. Like, let's go do the, de- like, go. I'm taking your husband, like, so you can go do the deed. <laughs> yeah. uh, my husband was shocked. So I sent him a text. I was like, hey. I'm coming to your office. Get ready. Like, it's my it's last time. day of ovulation. Yeah, gotta you got to do, do it. He was in an executive meeting with all of his partners. I like walk Pause. in. We went into the, into the bathroom. Like, is it like in- a unisex bathroom or the men's <laughs> no. bathroom? No, it was unisex. So you could okay. like lock the okay, door. Okay. Like personal You're bathroom. Just- his face was like, which is so funny. His face was like white. He was so nervous, which is so unlike him. He's like, I He's like totally that type of personality. That do would this. Be like- I can't show up yeah. right now. Like, yeah. I'm nervous. <laughs> and it was weird. Anyways, props to my best friend just for like yeah. waiting in the car for me to go do no, it. That's, and a, then, that's a true homie. Yeah. How cool would that have been if that would have been the time that I got pregnant? That would have been really cool. Funny. It's okay. It was warming you up. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. warming up your cervix. He for, thought like, I was a cool thing. wife. Yeah. So that's all that matters. Yeah, you were like, because like, like, my wife just came over <laughs> yeah. to fuck. Like, yeah. <laughs> like that's day. what's up. <laughs> like, Everyone's like, why was Aubrey here? Yeah. Well, you know. In and out. <laughs> just quick. <laughs> just a quick. This is regular for us. Yeah. Like, just a quick yeah. at work. All the time. It's fine. It's fine. It's so funny. No, but um, I love you. You, and oh, I'm so, so excited to chat with you. Yes. I don't know why you were even like nervous to come no. because you're so fun to talk to. This is gonna be so. I fun. feel like I'm like not good with words. I feel like Same. I have a hard time like Same. expressing myself. <laughs> Same. Like and getting deep. Like people want to like you Same. know. Yeah. No. I just end up like I'm like kind of boring. Like, are I'm, you like, emotional? Do you think you'll no. cry? No. 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 <laughs> I mean, none of these questions are like yeah. cry worthy. Um, no. I'm. Well, I guess I'm more emotional. Pregnant. Like. Okay, like my husband showed me a reel today and I started crying. Do you know that singer Lewis? Something Lewis. He sings like, I think he sings like even like um, Better Days. He sings like really pretty songs. Okay. I got to look him up now. Anyways, you guys, he is like one of the best singers and he got Tourette's and now he'll like go on stage and he'll start having Tourette's so he can't finish his <gasps> songs and then the crowd will, will finish, finish his it. songs <gasps> for him. And it is, and I started crying watching that because I'm like, anyways. That's we're getting way off topic, so but I'm like, so cute. random things like that, I'll cry. But stuff like about myself, like, no, I'm not a very emotional person. Like, okay. I grew up in a family that's like not, not we're not like emotion. touchy-feely emotional people. Okay. Well then let's get into let's who you are it. then, Aubrey, so we can know why you're not touchy-feely. Let's <laughs> yes, do the dumpster do deep it. dive. Today's dumpster deep dive is brought to you by Jay-Z Styles Co. Jay-Z Styles Co. is a full service salon and extension company based in Utah County. Their goal is to help everyone feel confident, beautiful, and radiant. And what better way to do that than with bomb hair? Jay-Z Styles offers 30 different shades of hair extensions, multiple methods so you can find the right fit for your hair, and is proud to offer top quality that will last. They also launched a hair care line this year, starting with a daily moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, and the prenup shampoo and sugar daddy conditioner, which I have been using, and it smells so good. And just side note, I have very curly hair 
And I'm very particular with what I use and I have been loving it. And I've been using it for almost two months. So I highly recommend. And they also most recently came out with the Rose Hair Shine Serum to keep your extensions and natural hair soft and shiny, which if you have extensions, you know you want to make them last as long as possible. So I have been using the Rose Hair Shine daily and it also smells so good. Anyone who calls Jay-Z Style Salon and books an appointment mentioning Weekly Trash will receive 10% off their service. I cannot wait to see you guys rock that Jay-Z hair. Where are you from? I am from Fruit Heights, Utah. Fruit Heights. Born and raised. That's where, where is Fruit Heights? It's kind of like far, like above Farmington and Catesville. Okay. okay. So like, and now I live in well, so you like, don't need to tell people where you live, Aubrey. Oh, yeah. You oh. have freaks yeah. following <laughs> yeah. you. We, yes, I, we need to talk about yeah, that we as do. well. Yeah. But you have big big family, small family? So I have like a pretty small family. Older sister, younger brother. So just okay. the three of just us. Three. Did you yeah. like that? Because I'm trying to figure out if I yeah. should only have three kids. You know what? I do. I like it's funny. So my husband has seven. and So does my stop. husband. Stop. Where is and he in the lineup? He is third in the okay, lineup. Okay, my husband's second. Okay. And I'm like, it's so fun when we go over there. Yeah. And like... But there's no way I'd ever have seven kids myself. Uh, no. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I just can't do it. Like, his mom is a saint. But there, so there's three in mine. And I've just, uh, like, we're, like, so close. And I feel like it's because we're smaller, like a smaller yeah. family. Like, we can all sit around a table. We can all have a conversation together. Yeah. And so I, I feel like, though, I want four. Like, I'm like, okay, I feel like okay. three was a little small. So I'm like, okay, I want one more. Gosh, dang it, Aubrey. You know? Now I'm going to have one you more. You got to do it with me. Let's do it together. I'm on my third. Aren't you on your third? You just had. Yeah, I just had Banks yeah. as my third. Yeah. But, like, I know. The thought it's, of being pregnant oh, one more miserable. time. It's miserable. But I'm everyone right is you. everyone is like, oh, uh, everyone who has three kids, like, I wish I would have just had one more. I know. And my parents, that's like one of their biggest regrets in life is they say they're like, we just like, we always kind of felt it, but we never did it. And now we're like so sad we didn't have one more. Are you going to try like get Irish twins, like pop uh, another one out real think quick? I so. But like now being pregnant this time around, I'm like, ooh. I can't even imagine like Ugh. doing it back to back, but I do want them closer. I did like two and then I had like a good break. They're like yeah, four and a half yeah. years. Yeah. So good break. And now I'm like, okay, I don't want to like bust two more out and then be done. Two more? No, no, no. Sorry. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. Like okay. this okay. one okay. Gotcha, plus gotcha, one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we've decided we're both having one more. Yeah, you're going to have one more. You heard it first, everybody. I'm getting pregnant again. <laughs> or just like, don't tell yourself. <laughs> I'm not. I'm like done. You know what I mean? Just keep the keep yeah. it open. I'm like, I somebody just, said this. It was my sister in law. She was like, the door is closed, but it's not locked. Yeah, that's a good way. But I also feel like my personality. I think like if I just like was like, eh, we'll see. No, I think I like would end up not doing it. I have to like tell I, myself you're doing it. I'm like very like if I need I need a plan. Yeah, I need to know exactly what's going on. So I feel like since I'm kind of like eh, I just need to figure it out. Yeah. With Banks, did you like go into it being like, okay, this is like my last pregnancy, I went into my it last like, baby? This is probably my last. Okay. See, and I did not with this one. So, so I'm like, I have to do it again. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Okay, so four kids for Aubrey. Yes, hopefully. Um, hopefully. I mean, that's the plan. What's the age gap between your siblings? Are you the oldest? So no, my sister's the oldest, and okay. then we're four years apart. Okay. And that's why I kind of was like, I'm okay with like the four year yeah. age, like gap. Like we're best friends now. It's not too far. And then my brother's two years. And so okay. it goes my sister, me, my little brother. And that's perfect. Yeah. And that's we're just perfect. like besties. I love them so much. Did you dance in high school or did mm -hmm. you cheer? I feel like you did one of those. So I cheered junior high, danced high school. Okay. And then danced college. And where'd you go to college? USU, Utah State, Aggies. Okay. Were, yes. you, a sorority, were you in a sorority? No. And I'm so sad. Like I look back at like my life. I'm like, why you did I? You should have been. Well, I, uh, uh, yeah, I don't even know. Like none of my friends did. I feel like I was such like a... People please, you're like, do whatever everyone else is kind of yeah. doing. And, and I don't know why. It. No. Like, I don't know why no one did. I don't know why. Yeah. And honestly, like, I look back at that, like, I only went to one year of college before I, like, bit, went to Weber. Okay. Because, like, CJ and I were getting serious. And so I, like, look back and I'm like, I wish I would have just, like, done that just whole year in college differently. Yeah. So when you were in college at Utah mm -hmm. State, did you already know CJ? Yes. So, so are you guys we, high school sweethearts? Yes. <gasps> the typical Utah story. I didn't know that. Which is kind of cringe. To, no, it's so cute. It's so cute, but kind of cringe. It's so cute. It's cute yeah. when it works out. Yeah. Because like. So like so many kind of, so many do work out. out. Or like, uh, I feel like if they get married, they end up working out. Yeah. But like if they can't survive the mission thing. Yeah. Like, because did he serve a mission? He did. Yeah. Usually but they I break was, up before that. And I was 16 at the time that he left. Like I had just turned 16 to like be able to date. Oh my gosh. You, so he left and obviously I dated. Like I was not the, like, better of. Yeah, I did. And he was, he was so good about it, but also deep down, not happy about it. Yeah. But I'm like, that is just insane. At 16 years old, I'm like 
writing a missionary. Kid. Yeah, is that so weird? Oh my gosh, that is yeah, crazy. Because was that back when missionaries had to be nineteen to go? Uh huh. Yep. Oh my gosh. So how'd you guys meet? So it was my June, like so my sophomore summer or my junior year, his senior year. Okay. And then yeah, and it was like this whole ordeal because I danced with his girlfriend at the time on drill. And, like, you're not allowed to date each other's boyfriends. That's, like, one of the rules. Oh. And then he was best friends with my boyfriend at the time. Me and my boyfriend broke up. And then he, like, started, like, texting me. Kind of, like, filling me out with, like, my his, yeah, like yeah. with my ex-boyfriend. And, like, just, like, trying to get in that way. And then I was, like, oh, like, seems like a little bit more. Yeah. And then we, like, kind of hung out and started talking a little bit more. And then I told him, like, no, no, we can't do this. Like, you have a girlfriend. Like, she's – and – like she was a senior, so I was terrified of her. Uh, I bet and she's one to like not. She likes hold back. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. She wouldn't be scared to like come up and say something yeah. to me. Anyways, and so then also the next day he texts me. He's like, I like I broke up with her, and my heart just dropped. And so we kept it a secret like for like three months until school ended. Like I would sneak into the, his car to like go to lunch with him. Like I'd like. Anyways, we had like fake names in our phones that we'd like oh. text each other. They both found out, and they like both. We're pissed. Freaked out. Yeah. yeah. But, it, but it makes it for a fun story. Yeah. It but all worked out. Yeah. So like so it, it happened to for be. a reason. Totally. So when he came back from his mission, he went to Weber State and you followed him there? No. So yeah, he like it was the semester was ending like in a month once he got home. Like I only had a month left. So he'd drive up to Utah State and then yeah, he was going to go to Weber and then and I wasn't loving Utah State at the time. Like it was freezing cold. I felt so like cold. and I'm like, well, let's not both come up here. Like he had no friends up there. So yeah, then we ended up just like Weber State is like in Ogden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not like, like, I didn't like live like there. Past, is it a little past Ogden or is it in Ogden? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like right growing up, I always thought Weber was a million years away. Yeah. Because Ogden seemed a million years away. Yeah. But from here. It's not actually. Yeah. Not too it's bad. Past Lagoon. From me, it's like 20 minutes. Yeah. So not far. So you go to And Weber. I did like online because I like have social anxiety. So I was like, You did? I won't go to campus. So you didn't do dance at Weber no. or cheer or anything? Mm-mm. After like, High school and then one year on college. I was just so burnt out. I just was like, it's just not fun anymore. I'm kind of over it. So what did you go to school for? Oh, <laughs> let's go into this. Yeah. No, I switched so many different times. I am not. School is not my thing. Same. Not my thing. Same. So I went to, like, tried to At least you went to college. Yeah, I, I didn't tried. even go. I, I didn't tried. even go. But you know what? Waste, I kind of feel like I like wasted. Like, And this is maybe also my parents like paid for my college oh that's nice nice but I also feel like I wasted their money like, like I'm like sorry. I did try so hard I tried so hard yeah so I did elementary ed for a little bit and then I switched to communications and then CJ was in professional sales and everyone was like oh it's the easiest degree to get and you can kind of use it for everything so then I started going to professional sales I finished everything besides my math course and have you ever heard of Acer Placer it's like no. a thing that you go to they teach you how to pass the math like act so you can test okay, out of math yeah, yeah. without going to like three semesters of math oh that sounds amazing yeah so i'm like so i paid like quite a bit of money with my own money up front to do that course to figure out how to pass yeah. and cja worked for like four of my friends mid semester of that like figuring out how to pass it that they went out of business took my money if you paid up front, they just said, sorry, like it's your loss. I went out of business and I never got to finish my math course. So I had my math left and my senior project and then I would have been done. But you didn't. No. Because I was like, I'm not going to go to three semesters of math. Like, that sounds I know awful. I won't pass. <laughs> You're like, That's the whole reason why I paid. And, and at that point I was married. I was working full time. Like I'm like, I'm going to have to like hire a tutor and be trying to go to school. Yeah. And like, no, I just Where were you done. working? I was working at a bank at the time. I worked at a bank Did one you? time, a credit union okay. to be exact. Yeah, Were you a bank Zions. teller? Uh huh. Very yeah. nice. It's a good. Kinda, it's a good job. Good, but kind of stressful. There the, was. I had some mess many, ups. How many times was your off balance? Off balance because it was me all the time, oh. and I was always like, "Guys, I'm gonna buy pizza tomorrow. I'm sorry." Yes, oh my. Okay, and mine. I had a horrible experience. I was the youngest one. The other ladies were like sixty. There was like a thirty year old guy that worked there at the time, and then my boss, my. Oh, she was over me. She was like maybe mid thirties. She was single. I was married. She like was out to get me. She hated me. I I like don't know why to this. Re- like, why did she hire you? I I don't know. It was actually her and another guy that hired me. Okay. So I feel like it was maybe his doing that hired me. He's like I want the cute. Well, no, he's just like <laughs> nice. He's like a dad, you know. And he yeah. was. Anyways, and I remember they asked me in, in my interview to like they picked up a pencil and they're like sell us this pencil. Wait, that's from Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. What is like I have never seen that and I was so confused. I'm like, huh? 
What did you say? I think I literally was like, what do you mean? Like, sell you this pencil. Why would they ask a bank teller yes. to do that? Do you want to know what the answer is? It's because they wanted me to sell like credit card, like sell. Oh, like the credit cards yeah. and stuff. Have you seen Wolf of Wall Street? Now I have. So do you know the answer? The answer is write down your name. Wait, no, I didn't take that. Yeah. So when somebody's like, sell me this pencil. Yeah. You give them. So like, let's say you tell me to sell you a pencil. You give me a pencil. I hand you a piece of paper and I'm like, will you write your name? And then they need a pencil and you go supply and demand, bitch. And then you God, the that pencil. is how, maybe they, I would probably play that song. I could have made them laugh. Oh, like if but I would, like, like I don't think they, joke. I don't even think they were trying to like copy with Wall Street. Maybe they just really thought that was know. like a good yeah, idea. Was, like, sharp, but that's what I would have done. Shiny. <laughs> You're like, this pencil, <laughs> write really your well. name. Um, yeah. It's I a level so two. <laughs> See, like, that just shows like school's not my thing. Like I couldn't yeah. even think. Caught me so off guard that I was just like, no, thank you. But I feel like that's a street smart thing too. Like, what? Yeah. That's so weird so they would dumb. ask you that. Well, and then listen how sad this is. So my manager, who was like 30-something at the time, she there was a Maverick right next door. And she every morning she'd come and be like, hey, guys, what drinks do you want? Do you want anything else? And she would specifically say like Cindy, Laurie, Andy. I remember their names, the people that I worked with. Yeah. Ask me if she ever asked me. Not once did she ever say, hey, Aubrey, did you want a drink from Maverick? I would have even paid her. Like the fact that she never asked me and went and got every single person something almost every single morning. And you were what, morning. like twenty years old? Oh, I was like nineteen. I got married at nineteen years old. She was the I was the only teller she wanted to ask. She'd go get everyone else something, bring it back, not say a word to me. And here's the other thing: none of those other people have ever said anything. You'd think like the six year old mom would be like, "Hey, Aubrey, did you, did Rachel? You are you going to ask her if she wants anything?" Yeah. No. So to this day, I've Toxic. always wanted to like mo- go back to that bank if she still works there and like. They would, they would always get like donuts and a Diet Coke. And yeah. I would, like want to just bring her a big box of donuts and a Diet Coke and be like, you should. Yeah. You, know you know should. I mean? No. Anyways. I yeah. feel like working she at a bank me. is one of the funnest jobs because if you're yeah. close with them. Yeah. Like if you're close with the people you I work with. Not. See, I I was the goof, the clown. Everyone was like, see, Josie, you always so are, fun. though. People just love you. But then I they hated me because we always were late to yeah. go home because it was like, Josie's, t- her tail is off two cents. <laughs> that was same. I was always off. I called my mom one time. I was off like I, a lot, like $200, something, like something big. Ooh, yeah. And I called my mom like down under the desk. I was like, Mom, can you bring me $200? I'm off now. <laughs> I like didn't want to tell my boss. She hated me. And you were gonna put your and own two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars into the bank. I don't even know if you can do that. Like, I don't. I'm sure, like, you'd get in so much trouble. Yeah, go to jail. Yeah, I. But I was like sweating bullets. I'm like, please, anything. I had been off balance like a couple days before that, oh and she gosh. came over and was like trying to figure it out. Well, they have to like go back and look at the cameras yeah. to like see if like you were oh, counting it's so right. Embarrassing. No, I was. Well, not the meant guy to work came back like ten minutes, like ten minutes after I called my mom, and he was like, "Hey, I." Th- um, the blonde one or whatever was helping me. Can you have dumb her one? Can you <laughs> dumb young one? That nineteen-year-old girl. That's why I went brown. I'm like, so people don't think I'm so dumb. No. So he's like, "Can you come to? The, can she send her to the window?" So I came to the window. He's like, "Hey, you, I think you gave me two hundred dollars extra. You like gave it back to me. What a but, good oh, guy. I know. I'm like, he saved me, and I was what so grateful because most guy. people would have been like, "Sweet, I got an extra two hundred dollars." Yeah, I would have. Right? <laughs> like, sweet. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Quit. So I now quit. that we talked about the bank for like yeah. 12 years, um, which I love. I know. So funny. So what was CJ doing? CJ was working with his dad. His dad's a rancher. So he was like working on the ranch. He was like okay. docking sheep, you know, doing the whole like. And because you guys work. said that you met in high school. So yeah. like, did his dad have a ranch in yeah. Farmington? They have like a couple different properties. So they have some okay. like in like Mountain Green, like a bunch of different ones. So they keep kind of like the sheep and like we'll rotate gotcha. them. But they also have like a big pasture in their yard that have like horse like they have horse and sheep and like it's so fun and i feel like it's like that like one of the one like traits where i'm like he just like knows how to work hard and get his hands dirty and like you know what i mean like wake up early and yeah 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 yeah. is that why you knew you had to marry him i did i was like yeah it was attractive to me you're a man you're a man (laughs) so when did you get started in fitness so i grew up in a pretty like health fitness family like my whole family is like really into it my mom especially like she like taught me like almost everything i know like, we had no sugar cereal in our house, like, no chips, no, like, fruit snacks or, like, gushers. Like, that was, like, I, like, didn't even know what that was. Like, we had really? none of that food in our house. We would have, like, ice cream or she would, like, randomly, like, make cookies or, you know. Like, it yeah. wasn't like I was completely deprived. But, like, and the thing is, like, I'm grateful for it now. But as a kid, like, I remember, like, I'd go to my friends' houses and be like, you have candy jars, yeah. you have, like, gushers. And I would just, like... Pound it. Oh, pound it because yeah. I never got it. Yeah. But now looking back, I'm like, I understand why she did it. It's because she never, like, if she, it was in the house, she would eat it. Yeah. And, like, it would be, like, yeah. so, and she didn't want, like, she didn't want that. She, didn't she want wanted that to be healthy. Yeah. yeah. 
And so, um, but yeah, so I learned a ton from her. She like, my parents both like ran marathons. Like my mom would wake up at like 5 a.m. to go to the gym every morning. Like she's super like still to this day. She's like six, is she 60? And she's like fit as crap. Like just like. Was it ever toxic though? It, you living know in that environment? I like look back and know at the time like it wasn't. And I, I still look like back at the day and I'm like, I'm really grateful because I feel like I like knew at a young age, like I understood nutrition and like how to feel your body and like what would make you feel good. Yeah. But I think it just depends on the personality. Like my brother and sister, I feel like they don't have any issues with it. Whereas me, I'm like the one that like you tell me to do something like I rebel. Like I'm like, eh, yeah. you, you know, and so I feel like for a second it took me a while to figure it out and like not just do it because I was supposed to, but because I wanted to myself. And so yeah, like growing up, like I think I would like sneak treats or like, you know what I mean? Like, like dulge in them, yeah. indulge in them just and like eat a ton and yeah. like binge on them because yeah. I never got them. But it's funny because my other siblings never had those issues. So like, well, and I, maybe, I don't know. I wonder if they would say any different. Um, But like my mom, it's like she still, like I feel like now I kind of like eat just like her it's like I pr- pretty much all my meals are pretty healthy but then like I'll indulge in like a big bowl of ice cream and like that's how I'd prefer it like I'm like I'd rather like eat a yummy dessert than yeah. like have like french fries and like not a healthy meal like yeah. I really do like eating healthy like healthy food yeah so, so I'm like I don't ever feel like yeah it was like I don't know did it ever stem from like being skinny or was it no being healthy uh-uh. hers is being healthy because so like both of her parents difference. died at a young age okay and so for and she didn't grow up like knowing nutrition and she kind of went into nutrition like kind of like took classes in college and stuff for nutrition she had like um a boyfriend that kind of like would comment on her eating and stuff but which kind of made her I think kind of spiral for a sec but she really did like she's still to this day she does it like out of just like she wants to be healthy she could care less about like being skinny and fit she just is like like all about internal health being healthy feeling good having energy like all of that yeah all of the good reasons Mm -hmm. to eat healthy yeah so then that kind of went hand in hand with fitness yeah yeah and I I didn't do fitness for a while so I'm like I like I danced all growing up and that was my like workout routine like I didn't like work out like you know like I and then high school like I senior year I kind of started running a little bit because in drill we would like run and I enjoyed it and it was kind of like more like therapy I'd like go for like a night run um and then college I went off to college and it was like all of a sudden like not having my mom cook my meals and like being in a different like routine like staying up late um and then I would have to wake up at like 5 a.m for dance practice I'm like I'm like getting like three hours of sleep going back home, like sleeping through my classes, having to go grocery shopping and like cooking my own meals. Like I was horrible at. And then I like watched my friends and I was like, I was rooming with some girls that like had some eating issues. Gotcha. And some that were like totally normal and fine. And I like feel like I picked up on that. And it was like, I just kind of like became like, I knew I was gaining weight and I was super insecure. And it's because I was eating like crap. I was not getting any sleep. Like I it was like not good. I like, you know, gained the freshman 15 and I knew it and I felt uncomfortable and I started having like stomach issues, digestive issues. Like I didn't go to the bathroom for like three weeks, like could not go. I did like Miralax. I did like all, not Miralax. What's the, um, Miralax is one laxative. No, but what's the one that you drink? Um, Miralax goes No, citrus, uh, citrus, um, I don't know. It's like a strong one. Like you drink it like before like colonoscopy. Oh. Like colonoscopy, you drink like the whole bottle, drink that. It did nothing. So, like, I thought I had cancer. My mom, like, was, like, taking me to doctors. Anyways, but it was just because of how horrible my routine was. And so I feel like after that, I realized, like, I'm, like, I would try and, like, starve myself. Like, I would, like, not eat. And then I would, like, binge. Yeah. And then I would just, like, go through that, like, cycle where I would try and eat, like, just, like, small amounts of, like, not healthy foods. Yeah. Whereas, like, it would have been so much better to eat a bigger meal of healthy food. Than like, a rice cake. Than, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And so it just took me a second to figure that out. And I think that's a lot of the reason why I went home after a year of college is I just like was not in a good spot. Yeah. And especially dancing at Utah State and being compared to like we cheered with the cheerleaders down on the floor, like even though I was on the dance team. So I would compare my body to these like teeny tiny cheerleaders. And it was just like not a healthy thing for me at the time. Like I just like really struggled. And so went home, tried to get back into like, you know, a normal routine before I got married. Yeah. And like that's kind of when I like really started like working out and going to a gym and like. And I remember I showed up to the gym for the first little bit, like wearing like long sleeve, long pants. And it was like so hot in the class, but it was either I show up like that and feel comfortable and like work out or I don't go at all, you know? And so I like, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, now you're rocking those those oh, sets, yeah. girl. <laughs> no. I'm still in the baggy clothes. Oh, I'm phase, in the baggy clothes phase, which like is sad because I if you if if you don't have a six pack, you mm-hmm. should still wear the set. Absolutely, like wear the set. Absolutely, but at the same time, you want to be comfortable. Yeah, and so like for me. I would rather be comfortable than yep. wear the cute set. And if I don't feel comfortable in the cute set because I'm nitpicking oh, yeah. every part of my body. Yeah. And that's a me well, problem. And then, <laughs> then you just go and you put yourself in a bad mood. Yes. Like you're like staring at yourself exactly. in the mirror and you're like, it's just like not a healthy not place good. to be. Yeah. yeah, no. So I'm like, I'm team baggy clothes. Yep. I, and I think I'm in that spot right now. Like I haven't posted to one do. workout since I've been pregnant. Really? Yeah. And it's like, so it's funny. Like I'm in that phase right now. And... Yeah, it's just, which is okay. It's okay to yeah. like be in that type of phase and be like, yeah, I just want to cover up a little bit more. And then the girls that are rocking the sets and in like teeny tiny, like good for them too. Yeah, like they look hot. Yeah. I wish I loved and myself that much. Yeah. Like, right. I'm like, it's, yeah. It's, it's inspiring. It honestly. is. Honestly. So keep doing it, ladies. Being pregnant with all three of your pregnancies. Yeah. Have you struggled with watching your body change? Yeah. Okay. So this is actually my first pregnancy with being like on this platform, like on Instagram yeah. and like doing what I do now. And so it is like, it's been like a, a weird stage, I'll say. And like, I definitely have struggled. The other two pregnancies, I was not sick at all. And so like I had energy, I kept up my workout routine. I like felt good. And so this pregnancy, like I've been so sick. I haven't been able to work out. Like eating healthy is the last thing I could do. Like yeah. at the beginning, I'm getting better. The, like the last couple of weeks have been better. Has this been similar to your other pregnancies? No. The other ones I wasn't sick. This is the first pregnancy I've ever been sick. So I'm like, this is a whole new ball game for me. Yeah. But it makes me realize the women, like I now feel for the women that are sick in pregnancy. And like, I used to be like, okay, well that's like an excuse. Like just go on a walk or like yeah. just eat healthy, even though it doesn't sound good. Like yeah. just, just suck it. it up and do it. And I'm yeah. like, you've almost physically can't. No, it's like repulsive. It is. And so it, it's, it's almost like good for me to kind yeah. of like feel this a little bit. And so it's, I feel like I've accepted it. It took me a second and I feel like I'm in a spot where I'm like, yeah, okay. You're going to be like gaining weight. There's third. I like showed it like 10 weeks. The other two, I didn't show till like 20 weeks. Hudson, I like had no idea what macros was. Like I wasn't, I were I, like where macros were. I was yeah. not in like a super healthy spot. Jovi was my best pregnancy. So my second, because I'm like, I was working out. I felt great. I like knew what macros were. So I tracked and like I ate healthy because yeah. I could. This one, it's like, I know all that stuff. Like but. this is my job, but I'm like, it, I could not get my butt up in the morning to work out. And then it's like, if I can't get a workout before 10 a.m. It's like, I'm on mom duty the rest yeah, of the day. Like no. it doesn't work. Yeah. You know? And then at night I would try, but I'm exhausted. I'd go to bed at like oh. 7 p.m. Working out at night. I don't <laughs> oh, understand. No, you can't. It's like, I, if you're a mom and you work out at night, yeah. like how, how, yeah. What are you taking? Give like, me your details. And like, do you go to bed? Okay. Yeah. Cause I feel like I have to have my pre-workout yep. to like well, really then, get going. Yeah, You're on like a high after your workout. Like you can't just like go work out even without pre-workout and then yeah. like go to bed. Like, you know? how do you sleep? Yeah. So I, I did not work out for a while. Like it was like, I was MIA. I was hiding myself. I was just, which almost was good for me to take a break too. I'm like, it was really yeah. healthy for me. So it almost forced me to do it. And then like eating wise, like the last thing I could eat was like meat and salad. And like, or you know what I mean? Like those types yeah. of, or like veggies. Yeah. I'm like, ew, no, I, that makes me want to barf. No, thanks. So it was like, yeah, toast, rice cakes. No sweets. Like sweets sounded hor- horrible to me, but More it was just stuff. all like, Salty. yeah, mm-hmm. crackers, anything that I could just like get down. Yeah. That like I wouldn't like anyways. Yeah. Barf. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's been, it's been a rough pregnancy, but I also feel like it's been humbling for me. Well, that's good. Yeah. Because every pregnancy is different yeah. and you never know what you're going to get, no, which is why I'm like, do we do this again? I don't, I think it's age too. I'm like, <laughs> I think it's like, I'm like, okay, am I getting too old for this? Like, yeah, I, I think do? a big part is I went and got my hormones checked like two weeks before I got pregnant. Oh, really? And all my levels were like, kind of like, see you want out of whack? Yeah. And I was like low on a lot of things and I was just barely about to start taking everything to make me feel better. And then I got pregnant. And so I do feel like I'm like, I'm really curious to know for my fourth, if I like, yeah. I'm lucky enough to get, get pregnant again, situated, yeah. situated. get it situated before and see if it helps. So how long have you been tracking macros? Like mm-hmm. off and on. Okay. Um, I have not tracked for a long time. Okay. Like a long, long time. Macros are like your thing. Like you totally. are a macro coach. Totally. Like you said well, macros. macros were life changing for me and they yeah. still are like, and I think, um, Macros aren't for everyone. Can you I'll explain say that. macros yeah, yeah, for yeah. those who don't so know? So macros are like, inst- like a lot of people count calories, right? Yes. And like, that's how they like typically like, will like go lose weight or like hit their goal. Macros are a little bit different because it's your calories, but it's split into carbs, fat, and protein. 
Um, so it kind of like teaches you balance. Like you can fit everything in your macros, but like it also is like um calories matter like you like so you've tried to fill your calories with healthier foods because have more protein yeah to hit those certain numbers yeah um and but it's awesome because macros it's like if you want to gain muscle then like you get a macro count to help you gain muscle or gain weight you know for my husband or lose fat for some people so it's like we're maintain just the weight that you're at and I don't think it's something that you're supposed to do long term for the rest of your life I think this is like something where it's like for macros for me it was I was so sick of just guessing how to like get to where I wanted to be and just yeah. be like, okay, if I eat healthy and I like kind of don't eat as much, I kind of restrict myself and then work out really hard and run on the treadmill, then like hopefully by that vacation, I'll be like feeling good and like be where I want to be. It's almost like just like this guessing game. And it's no, almost yeah. like with your money, like if you were like to be like, okay, I never like say, let's just like, we'll try and save here and there, but we're never going to like track it. Yeah. It's like by the end, you probably didn't do as well as if you were to track like your savings and like, you know, um, everything yeah and so with um macros yeah so you track that in your phone um and for me it was life-changing because I'm like it really like taught me I already long yeah so I'm like for 30 days like that's four weekends that you can like just stick to this goal and I did it for the first time and I'm like I had never seen results like that and I'm like and I felt full I felt like I was fueling my body I had way more energy than I had ever had my workouts were way better I was sleeping better I could wake up early it was seriously like life-changing for me and I'm like this is in- like incredible like yeah it's like I finally found like the the thing that actually works without just like starving yourself trying to not eat running on the treadmill like doing all those things that like don't work. They don't oh, yeah. work and it's not healthy. It's and you not. go in this cycle. And so it's like I did that and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never felt better. I felt confident. I felt good in my skin. I felt healthy, you know? And so it was like, I did that. And then after the four weeks, I think I went for a little bit longer. I think I did like six. I got new numbers that weren't quite as low. Yeah. Went to maintenance, did it for like another, I think like two to four weeks. And then like I took a break, you know? And then it's like, but just knowing that information yeah. in your head, not like being like super strict and tracking everything. But just now being into eyeball it and be like, oh yeah, no, I know I haven't had enough protein today. Like I can, my body can fill it. Yes. Oh, I haven't had enough carbs. I don't have as much energy. Like I know I need some carbs. You know what I mean? So like it was life changing in that way. And now I feel like I can kind of eyeball it and just like know what my body needs yeah. at the time. And then, yeah, every so often it's like a year went by and I'm like, ooh, okay. I'm like getting a little too far yeah, off. Let's like let's go back. Let's go back and like dial it in a little bit more. But it's refreshing to know like, okay, if I have something coming up that I want, not that saying you have to get in shape for a vacation or for your right. wedding. But if you want to, you're like, I want to set this goal and like, I want to hit the goal. It's scientifically proven. Like if you follow this plan and like, yeah. like follow these numbers, you will hit your end goal. Yeah. Don't just it's, starve yourself. Yeah. It's kind of like refreshing. It's like, oh my gosh, it takes off this weight off your shoulders to be like, okay, I like, I know I'll hit it in four weeks if I just do this and this. No. It simplifies it. Macros you know? changed my, I love. Have you done it? I've done macros. Okay. And okay. especially when I was keto, I can't ca- yeah. count yeah. macros for keto because keto is very totally. fat based. So you have yep. to. Keep low track carbs, of your fat, yeah, high low fat. carb, high fat. But then I obviously didn't want to do keto anymore. So yeah. I just was like, I want to track my macros. Yeah. And then I learned like higher protein, like lots yep. of protein, low fat, yep. medium sized carbs, yeah. like figuring that out. But I'm also obsessive and I noticed See, myself being yeah. obsessed with tracking it. Mm-hmm. And so almost unhealthy. I've ha- yeah. I've, I've had to like tone it back mm-hmm. a little and be like, hey, Josie, you're That's good that obsessive. you noticed that. Because yeah. I do say to my clients when I do one-on-ones with them, I'll ask like what the personality type is. And I'm like, yeah. okay, if you're like, for me, I don't get obsessive with yeah. stuff. And so like, I can like zone it in for four weeks and then it's like, okay, forget, about, yeah, it. forget yeah. about it and don't worry about it. But, um, I do say if like you have an obsessive personality and you tend to like do that, I honestly say, let's steer clear from macros. Let's just focus on just your protein yeah, and not track every little tiny thing. Um, but if you don't have that type of personality, I do feel like it could be life changing yeah. for you. You know, I think now just doing protein is going to be best for me. But like when you are not on doing your Mm -hmm. macros, Mm -hmm. what like is your go-to like range for you protein wise? Ooh. So like depending on like what my goal is. So like if I'm trying to like kind of get lean for something, I'll be like, and I'm short. So you're a lot shorter than I thought you were. I'm, I'm short. And I'm like, like, what? Five one. I'm like, yeah, five, 
almost five two. I'd go. Okay. I say five two. Yeah, Probably five not two. quite five two. five two. But yeah, like I'm I'm pretty short and small. So I um not small, but like short. So yeah. like my numbers obviously are different from like somebody's somebody right. else. Right. Um and it go bases it's off of your weight as well. But like I typically would be like, okay, like one thirty if I'm okay. like trying to like Go, lean out a little bit or I'm like up to like 150 sometimes if I'm like I'm hungry there's been times I go up to 160 yeah. grams of protein per day That's and like wild. it's wild and like I used to not think I could ever eat that and I used to be scared of protein women used to be I think it was like a thing it was like yeah. protein makes you bulky protein makes you big like so you I have and carbs carbs women are terrified of carbs and to me I'm like it was so refreshing to be like oh my gosh, I get to eat that many carbs in a day and still see results. Yeah. Like I don't have to just eat lettuce or just eat, like right. I can eat the tortilla. I can have bread. I can have an English yeah. muffin. I can have, you know, like all of those things and not be scared of them anymore. Because I feel like for a long time I was scared of carbs. Same. And yeah, and protein, like I knew because of my mom, but I feel like a lot of women, it's so funny when I like do one-on-ones with them like, or like, oh. yeah, there's that much protein. And I'm like, no, you will feel so much better and so much fuller and you'll see results eating high protein, yeah, you know? No. No, so. you can tell a difference in your body. Like mm-hmm. I feel like, like when you were saying that you can tell what your body needs, yeah. like if I'm not having at least like, which I'm not even close to what I should be eating. Like, cause I was doing like 150 to 160 yeah. in protein, uh-huh. which is like what I should have been doing. Now it's not as great because yeah. I'm just in like mom mode. Yeah. You're mode. busy. I'm eating what I can and eat. And it's harder to hit those numbers that people think. Yes. And you like, gotta be tracking. You, you gotta be ha- on You have it. to be on it. And uh-huh. like, I can notice that my body isn't functioning at its best yep. level because I'm not getting enough protein. Absolutely. Like I just like, I need to pump it's it up. Not, yeah. So but crazy. it's like so hard because you're like protein is something you'd either have to like make or it's like turkey that you yep. roll up. And so like, it's so much easier it, to just like grab something, Yep. which is why like protein shakes are like my best friend. Yep. That's how I get like the biggest amount. See, and it's funny. People used to be scared of like, Ooh, I don't want to do protein powders or like, yeah, huh? and I will say I try to fill most of my proteins with like obviously whole foods, Real but food. I absolutely have protein shake every day you, like to hit you know, those numbers hit those. Uh-huh. and it's just a healthy snack that keeps you feel like yes. full and satisfied yes. so yeah do you ever feel pressure in the industry to look a certain way now that you've yeah you have all this following and attention yeah. you know what's so funny I like I've written a caption for this like probably four different times but I'm not good with words so it's so hard for me to like express type it. it in words um but no it I will say that's my biggest struggle of being on this platform it's like what holds me back and I think for most fitness, I I, I I hate calling myself an influencer. I call myself I call myself a fitness coach. Yeah, or like, fitness coach. Yeah, but I feel like I if I talk to talk to ninety percent of them, that's what they always say. It's like that's their hardest thing. I think we're our own worst critic for sure. And it's hard because I also feel like I can't express that out on Instagram because people. And, and I don't blame them. It's like they can come to you and just be like, oh, if you're complaining, like you could have it so much worse. Like yeah. you have no room, you know, and I totally get that. Like I'm like, I'm so grateful for my health and like how, what I've been dealt. But I'm like, um, it doesn't make it any easier. Like I still struggle with body image. Even like when I'm in like, you know, my best shape or like my, you know, like you still, those women still struggle with body image and body dysmorphia. It's not something that just like goes away if you like yeah. get to a sp- like specific point Spot. in your yeah because you just want more yeah you hit, and so. well you can still nitpick yourself like you're yeah. just like oh I wish I had longer leaner legs you know or oh I wish I could build my booty a little bit bigger you know yeah. or like you can always pick yourself apart and I feel like I've actually like just the older I've gotten the better like the healthier place I've become like been in yeah and I don't know why this last year has been like a really good year for me I'm like I have been not in my greatest shape for this like last year and it's like mentally been I'm like been okay um, but it doesn't mean like I don't struggle. Like I will say with this pregnancy, like putting on weight, I feel like it's almost like I can't show up because I feel like I'm not, um, what's like the word? Like I'm not. You're not the epitome of. Of like what I'm supposed fitness. to be. Yeah. 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 And like, I mean, every woman goes through, like most women that like go get yeah. pregnant are, you know, gaining weight. But for me, it's been really hard to like show up in that way because I feel like I'm like, yeah, you guys keep working out and like eat healthy, track your macros. When I like haven't been doing that, yeah. I almost feel guilty. Like getting on and saying do that when I'm not doing it myself which is a valid feeling you know? but like you shouldn't feel that yeah, way yeah I know and that, when I talk myself through it and it's funny like me and CJ we had this like I, I keep a lot of stuff in I try yeah. and hide my insecurity I like to like try and come off like I'm okay and then I'll like hit a like a breaking point and I think the only two people that like well three are my best friend CJ and like I've talked to my sister a little bit about it but um, I think people, like my family even, are like, oh, yeah, she's, like, confident. Yeah. Like, we don't need to, like, give her any compliments. 
And I feel like those are the people too that like actually do sometimes need a compliment, yeah. you know, or like do need some like validation. Validation. Little, yeah. Um, but CJ had a good like talk with me, like sat me down. He's like, I can tell you're struggling. Like you haven't been posting. You've been MIA for so long. Like, and he like talked me through this cycle because he went to therapy for a while to like help with his OCD and. He like t- had like told me all these coping mechanisms and like, what are you scared about? Why won't you post? Yeah. Why are you so worried about it? Like, who cares what other people think? You're pregnant. Like, and it's yeah. funny when like I hear it, I'm like, yeah, no, you're right. Like that makes sense when I talk myself through it. But when you start spiraling, you can't see those things. Like no. you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm gaining weight. My boobs are huge. I'm like, I can't post that. Like if I were to get on, people are going to be like, why would I take fitness advice and nutrition advice from her? You know, so you almost feel like a scam. You're like. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like such a weird thing. You no, can like, I, I, yeah. I totally get what you're saying. It's yeah. just like crazy because like I'm looking at you and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> um, if I looked like at 20 weeks pregnant, oh gosh, no. I would have a fitness app. And you I are, would no, be you're so like, nice. But and I think women who are pregnant need somebody who totally. they can watch work out absolutely and not feel alone. Like I that and that's it's so sad because I'm like I wish I had been showing up more and I was yeah. so sick. I just wasn't in a spot to like physically show up or like mentally show up yeah and sometimes I feel like you have to take those breaks for yourself but I do wish I would have like filmed more and got on more to share that part of the journey you know what I mean because like now looking back at it I'm like so many women like I posted like I think one or two things about it and so many women were like I needed to hear that thank you so much for sharing I'm this far along I'm right there with you like it's so refreshing to know that you feel the same way like so it's funny because I assume people know that's how I'm feeling and people don't. No. And so like once I get on and share just even like I t- like a little sprinkle of it. I didn't even share that much. Yeah. It was like received really well. And I'm like, okay, I need to be better at that. It's yeah. just not easy for me it's not to easy do that. for you to be yeah. vulnerable. Yeah. Well, welcome to Weekly Trash. Yeah. Where you, I'm going to force you to be vulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know. Let's that's talk, I was about, like, this is let's not talk like... about it, Aubrey. <laughs> let's do it. So when did you feel like your Instagram got traction, like started mm-hmm. blowing up? It was so weird. So like I, so I actually owned a dance studio before this. I opened okay. a dance studio like when I was 19 years old, ran that for seven years, sold it to my best friend. No way. Yes. It was like my dream as a little girl. So you left the bank. Left the bank, started my own dance studio, did that for seven years. It was like a dream come true. I loved it. But then I became a mom, had my little boy and it was just like a job where I couldn't do it at the time. Like it just felt like too much. CJ was commuting like 45 minutes to yeah. work. I had a baby. It's like by the time he got home from work, I was leaving and then we never saw each other. And then I would be gone till like 10 p.m. at night, yeah. come home. And I just was like, I wanted to be able to like be home with my baby and my family. So, and I think it just like, I mean, a dance studio is like on a whole nother level. Oh, I like, don't I'm just know like how moms you did that. And, Especially you know, at 19. Yeah. And it was, it was hard. It was a weird place to be because I'm like, I felt so young and it's here yeah. I am like the boss of people and like yeah. these older, like, you know, anyways, dance now moms. looking back, I wish I could have done it at this stage of my life, but it I learned a ton and it was like, I'm so grateful for it. Anyway, so I quit. I sold that to my best friend. And then I was like, I was a mom, but I also am not someone to just like, I'm not good at just like not being busy. Yeah. I like to like be thinking and like pushing myself and doing yeah. something. And Have so, something outside of yeah. Motherhood. And so, um, so you just like, do something that you love. Like, what are your passions? And I like literally was like, what are, like, I don't have any hobbies. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Dance was mine and it kind of got yeah. ruined from doing that. Like, cause once you do something so much, it kind of like you lose your passion for it yeah. a little. And so I was like, I have no idea. And I was so jealous of him because he's like, he had golf and hunting and yeah. all these things. The and things. I'm like, what do I do? Like, I have nothing. And so really the only other thing that I like loved and like I did every day was working out. Like I loved it. I like loved eating healthy. I loved like creating healthy meals. I loved like my one hour to myself. I'm like pushing my body really hard and yeah. like getting a good sweat. And so um, he's like, just like do it. And I felt so weird because I felt like I was like, last in the game to like kind of start doing when it was it so this would have been like two okay so this would have been like three years ago I started really? like two and a half three years like three years ago maybe coming up in I have followed April. you since the beginning then yeah I'm like I have not started I like I have not been doing this for very long <laughs> like I was one of the text the people that got text messages stop with your playlists it. stop yeah because that yeah. was right at the beginning like yeah. literally is when I launched yeah Okay, that's so funny. But did you already have a following before? No. Uh-uh. I think I had like 2,000 people, like 2,300 people or something so, when I first started. And I first like kind of just like started posting my family and then I'd post like a little bit of like fitness, like a little like gym yeah. picture. And then people would like start commenting like, what do you do for your workouts? And then it like gave me the doors like, okay, I'm like people yeah. kind of are interested. Yeah. And then I just like kind of started posting and 
I don't know. Like, I seriously don't know what happened. Like, I'm like, I truly have no idea. Like, I really had no idea what I was doing. Um, I think I got to like 10K on Instagram. Yeah. And then my husband like signed me up for my app that I'm on now. Yeah. Without me even knowing. Like he was like, we're going to like get you on an app. And he just like did it because he knew I'd be too scared to like take the leap. So he did it. He got, got in touch with them. They almost didn't take me because they had like bigger people that they took on at that time. And I was the first one. I think they took that like only 10 K and now it's funny to watch them. Now they go after all of those people and like take them. But, um, so I got on their app and like, they wouldn't help me at the beginning. They only helped like the bigger creators. So I did it all by myself. My best friend helped me launch it and like create my website. And I don't know, I was blown away. I didn't know what was good or what wasn't good. Yeah. But with my launch, I was like blown away. I'm like, wow. Like I, I like was bawling. I was bawling, which I don't cry, <laughs> but I was so grateful because it was so cool to see. Yeah. Like I never thought like this is what I would be doing. I just thought it'd be like a little thing on the side and like, so to see where it was then. And then, um, I would say like a year ago, that's like when my Instagram kind of like went off a little bit and yeah. I grew like a lot and, and you became lucrative. Yeah, that I, yeah. <laughs> that was right. She said, I you sent her the list of questions and I put those. lucrative. And she's like, mm, I what? I don't know if I know what that means. <laughs> but you, you did. Guys, you yeah. you became lucrative. Well, I mean, I don't know. Your business. That's the thing. I don't even still know, like, what is good, what isn't good. But for me, I was Well, it doesn't matter happy because with it's it. yeah. you. It's, yeah. You're in competition with yourself. Yeah. It doesn't matter what's good and what's not yeah. good because it's good for you and that's all that matters. Exactly. And honestly, it's you're killing it no well and I'm like that's the thing I never went into it being like I'm doing this for the money yeah I went into this like being like it's because it's like something I love and I'm passionate about it and and I really like the very beginning when I first started I really was like targeting um or like trying to like um reach out to people that were struggling like how I struggled right when I got married and in college and like I wanted if I'm like I wanted to shout from the rooftops being like you do not have to starve yourself you do not have to try and just like not eat anything like you can eat treats you can eat ice cream you can like go out to a restaurant and like you don't have to run on a treadmill forever and like you can see results like you can feel the best you've ever felt and get into the shape you've wanted your whole entire life by like still like living life and like enjoying life and like I feel like that's like where I really like tried to focus on at the beginning um and I remember like saying like I would go to the gym and like remind myself like look at myself in the mirror like you're doing this for you like who cares what anyone thinks because I my whole life I've been so paranoid about like what everyone thinks of me and I'm like a people pleaser and so it was like I was anyways that's kind of how I feel like I um became lucrative as I really reached those people with my story trying to be like I can help you like let me help you get to like from that point to this point. No, that's why I started following you. Like oh, Aubrey, I don't so think you understand. Cute. Like my before weekly trash was ever a thing. Stop. My personal page. That's how I found I, you because I was starving myself. Yeah. And I was like, wait, she's Isn't saying I don't have so to do miserable. that. Yeah. And like I literally think you didn't I didn't think you knew me until the mixers retreat. Like no, I felt Aubrey. honored. No, Aubrey, I'm fangirl. <laughs> fangirl. I love you. Um, so when you started having kids, yeah. Did motherhood, because obviously you said you wanted something out of motherhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you got into this. Mm-hmm. But did motherhood come easy for you? You know what? I feel like my whole life, like, I was, like, the little kid that, like, loved dolls, like, pl- loved playing house, like, yeah. loved babies. Like, um. so, no, I always wanted to be a mom. It was, like, what I wanted to do. Yeah. And it's funny, now that I'm in it, I'm like, wow, it's just way different than I <laughs> ever Way different than the baby dolls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I love it. Like, I do love it. And I'm like, uh, I think pregnancy is harder for me than like the mom the mom part yeah I'm like I can do the newborn stage the no sleep like all that it's the pregnancy that's like really hard for me pregnancy yeah yeah it's just yeah it's tricky what about toddler phase because I feel like toddler Ooh. phase is what's kicking my yes. butt yes I would take newborns all day long oh my gosh they're the best no I just have gone I feel like I'm just getting out of that toddler stage and I think that's why I waited so long to have my third so yeah I feel like with both of them completely different personalities yeah boy my and kids girl. are so yeah. opposite um, but no, I, and I don't feel like it's the terrible twos. It is like three into like four and a half. That is like hard yeah. for me. They got the, that yours the personality right and sass. Honestly, like what's your I, hard stage? My daughter's going to turn five. Okay. And she just seems to be getting harder. Oh no, don't tell me that. My daughter's my hard so, one too. And I, th- I think it's a girl thing. Like just yeah. like the sass and yeah. the attitude towards the mom and like, and it's just the personality yeah. because some little girls are sweet totally. and gentle and soft is she your spoken. second or your first? She's my first. Yeah. And she's, she's me. Yep. Like I was a little spitfire. Yeah. And so is she. <laughs> and it's going to work out great for her yeah. when she's older, but being her mom is so hard and to watch. Yeah. You know, but 
it's it is fine. okay so when my fine. little boy is six now and i'm like oh my gosh it's like the best age like you're sweet whereas my little girl's four and i'm like Oof, yeah it's tough right it's now it's hard it's yeah. tough but i mean but no i'm like it's it, the best yeah it's the best like i would like that is like my number one priority i'm like i love being a mom like i'm like you know that comes first and it's, yeah because yeah how yeah. do you manage all of it well, I'm like, just like you do. Like, you know, I feel like uh, you kind of feel like you don't. Like, I'm like, I yeah. feel like I never have it under control and I never feel like, okay, oh, you know. I gave everybody equal yes. amounts of attention yes. today. So I do feel like I'm like, I'm not weirdo that like time blocks on my planner. No, and I'm like, to. okay, this is like where I focus on this. This is where I focus on this. And there's some days where I'm like, it's just a full mom day. There is not anything that I'm like, I don't think about work. And then there's days where I'm like, I'm in the office from like nine to five and like everything is like focused around work. Yeah. Um, But I'm like, my kids are like, I finally got to a stage and now I'm about to have another, but I'm like, he's in school full time, which makes a huge difference. And then she goes to preschool every day for like yeah. two and a half hours. And I'm like, just having that two and a half hours and like how much I can get done in that amount of time. It's crazy. It's crazy. So are you nervous for how you're going to adjust with the yeah, baby? You know what? I do you have game plans I, set in place. I do have like a nanny, which I yeah. almost like hate saying. No. I think people look down upon no. that. No. No. <laughs> no. But I do think. I get that though. Yeah. But like, no, it takes a village. It does. It and takes I'm like, a village. I don't love burning my like mom and my mother-in-law out. Yeah. And so um, I like prefer to have a nanny and just pay someone um and that's why I work I'm like okay I work and then I have someone like help me do things too that like I'm not as good at so I'm like I will have her do like some laundry because I'm like I'm not good at that and she enjoys that and I'll so I'll spend my money to like do that and then I'll go make money by working because I that's what I am good at you know for sure um but no so like I feel like we are so lucky I have like she's been with us for almost three years I'm like she's like part of the family and I love her my kids like adore her and so I feel like I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm in a good spot. I yeah. feel like my business is at a good spot. And that's the thing. I never came into this business like for the money. I really just do it because I love it and because it's a passion of mine. So I feel like I'm not like too worried about it. I'm like, okay, there's times where if I'm like, yeah, I kind of have to like back off a little bit. I'm not like stressed, like Stress. I'm doing it because I need to make money, you know? So I feel, and my followers, like even being MIA for a while, I'm like, I feel like I have the best community. They're just like so chill and like oh you're back and like yeah not they don't give me a hard time like so I feel like with the baby I don't know and I'm like I just I almost feel like the pregnancy is where I struggle more and I feel like when the newborn like when my baby comes I'll be like on all the time yeah 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 Yeah. yeah. I feel I feel like you don't feel like you have a lot of pressure like you don't put a lot of pressure on yourself it sounds like I try not to I try to make it fun like I really try And, and I put I think I put pressure on myself in a different way than most people Like, my pressure is not – I'm not, like, a business-minded person. I'm, like, a creative-minded person. So, like, I definitely put the pressure on myself of, like, what I look like. Like, my fitness, like, my body, like, that being in shape, which is almost unhealthy. Like, you know? Yeah. Um, But the pressure of, like, the money and, like, the business side of it, I don't put as much pressure. the business growth. Yeah. And that's why I have my best friend. She actually helps me. And, like, that's her mindset. Yeah. So, she's, like, obs. Like – Let's, you know, and she'll like yeah. get me on track for that kind yeah. of stuff. And CJ is like, all right, have you even looked at your numbers? Like, like, no, <laughs> I just, you know, this showing up. What, yeah. This is a good time. Yeah. So I really tried to like just make it a fun thing because I feel like people can feel if it's like. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They can feel your authentic yeah. self coming out for yeah. sure. With you being hot though and an, oh, and no. an influencer and a fitness coach. Do you get like hit on random men all the time? Do random men come and hit on you all the time? <laughs> no. No? When you put this question on there, I was like, like, I'm, no. You don't get like random DMs? I mean like, like random, like, like weird. Have you ever like, sent a dick pic? Never. And here's the thing. Well, okay. Maybe I've never opened it. Okay. I'll get sent like a picture or a video and, and, it, just, it's and I just delete. Yeah. Like I don't even open it because I'm terrified. I'm terrified of like it being like some like creepy image. Not like necessarily even a dick pic. Like, like I'm more creepy. <laughs> yeah. Or like. <laughs> I don't know something like I I almost got scammed too, so I'm scared to open anything. Like I almost got my account taken. No way. Yes, and so I'm like really paranoid about like opening up things that I like don't know. So um, I've never gotten sent that. I do get like weird messages, but they're from like fake accounts or like there was like some like guy, and I thought it was there's a it's a picture of him and his wife, and I thought it was the wife that had been messaging me this whole time because I can't remember what the name was, but it's like it could be a boy or a girl name. Yeah. 
And so I thought it was the wife the entire time commenting and messaging me. And I was like messaging you back. Cause I'm like, they were such nice messages. Not creepy. Yeah, not hitting nice. on me, but like, yeah. oh, keep doing what you're like. You look so good. Keep it up. Like just nice. I thought it was a girl. So I'd been responding this whole time. And finally I had figured out it was oh him. Totally blocked. I'm like, oh, we're done. You're done. Ew, what a freak. But I'm like, I don't get like, and like the gym I go to. I feel like everyone knows everyone. Like, everyone knows their spouse and everyone yeah. knows. There's no swingers yeah, going well, around. I don't know. Well, maybe. <laughs> I want to be surprised. Maybe. But, but not you. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Okay. But I'm like, I don't feel like it's like. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. interesting to me. I feel like creepy messages. I don't feel like I come off as like. I'm like, I'm like a mom of yeah. like, you know, two. I look like a mom. Like, I'm like, I don't look you like. You do a, not look like a mom. I do. Uh, the picture in look. your promo, you have a full on eight pack. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's how you present yourself. Okay. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't look at myself being like. Sexy. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm not a sexy person. You are sexy. Well, like. But I don't, like, you don't yeah. give off that energy. Yeah. Well. Yeah, and I'm just like not like ask my husband. I'm not like a like a sexy person. <laughs> so CJ has never been like jealous then because oh. nobody's messaging you or is he no. ever like, uh, those six packs are for me. Don't just, show people those. No, you know, and he's like in his like best shape of his life right now. And I'm like, oh, like now he that like always we happens. both feel a little like, t- yes, yeah, so yeah. like how each other have felt. No, he no, he's so great about it. And I think like. I don't know. I've shown him everything, but like if it, there is anything that's ever like come through my DMs, I'm like, look how weird, you yeah. know? But um, I'm like, and I'm too like busy. Like, I'm like, I don't think he's like too worried about it. I'm like, when do I ever have the time to like do something that's like inappropriate? Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like message back I'm and so forth. Busy. Yeah. Like, I just wouldn't think about it. There's been like a couple things where he's like paranoid or like, yeah, eh, don't like that. Well, because that's probably you know? hard as a spouse seeing, you know, your spouse, significant yeah. other on social media. They're hot. They, people yeah. love them, like to ever be a little insecure. Yeah. If that's like something that like mm-hmm. deep down they struggle with a little bit. Which is so funny. I'm like, he, I'm actually shocked. He's the one that like talked me into doing it. Yeah. He's like my number one supporter. Like he's the one that was like, no, post that. Yeah. Like, or no, like keep, do, you know, do yeah. this or do that. Or like. He's a supportive king. He, he, yeah. He like really wants me to like, he almost wants me to do it more than I want to do it myself. Like right. he's like so into so proud it. Of you. Yeah, he's really into it. And so it's really cool. Like I've never felt like he's been like insecure or like feels like bugged about it or like he's yeah, he's been like so great about it. That's and so, awesome. and it's not his like personality to be like jealous or like anything. There's been like a couple things where it's like I went and did like a photo shoot with for like a company and like there was like other male models and like that he was like yeah don't love that yeah you know not my and it was like one of my one time things but like if like he trusts me he's like I know nothing's gonna like well, come from that that's good so yeah I'm like but no I don't feel like he's ever been jealous anything but supportive with it yeah good yeah love that has um building your your app mm-hmm. and being a mom mm-hmm. have you ever felt like you would ever want to stop and just be a mom? Yeah. You know what? I would say like, this is like the first of the last like six months. Like, and, and I know that's the thing is I'm like, I know it's my insecurities that are yeah. like making me like think this way. Yeah. Um, cause I'm like deep down, I know if I were to give it up and like just stop completely, I know I'd regret it. Yeah. It's like, I finally have gotten to a point where I'm like, okay, like it's running great. Like I've like done what I've like wanted to with it. Like I feel like I'm in a good spot. I'm like, I it, I don't do it for myself. Like I truly like I really try to make my whole page. I know on Instagram it's hard because you're like you're, everyone posts about themselves. Like yeah. that's what you're posting yeah, yeah. about. But like I truly try to come off of like I don't try and share like my journey of like here's what my fitness plan is. Here's what I'm doing. I'm going to like do this cut. Follow along. Follow what yeah, I'm yeah. doing. And like let me show you my transformation and my I'm going to show you like today's picture compared to in four weeks I'll show you what I look right. like. I really try and make it so focused around like trying to help other people. Like, yeah, and that's what I'm truly, so yeah, much. like I'm like, that's what I'm truly on there to do. So that's why I feel like too, when I go like MAA or I kind of like take off a little bit, it's, uh, I don't feel like guilty about it. Cause it's not about me. My page, I really try not to make about me. I know it, obviously you're posting about yourself, yeah, but, but like, I don't do it for myself. And so there's been times like my insecurities come in and I'm like, Ooh, yeah, it's hard for me to get on and post and like talk on my stories or like when I'm feeling a certain way yeah and I don't feel authentic and I don't feel like people care to hear or like I'm like I just am not in the face of like feeling confident and like let's talk about fitness and health when I'm not performing myself yeah. um but my husband like same thing he always like brings me back to like you can oh like you can always quit if you feel like that's what you want to do like you can like do that but and then they'll like talk me through like 
just think about like where you started, where you've come, like why you wanted to do it in the first place. Think how many people you've helped, like go read through your messages and your DMs and like read about, you know, read through those and think how many people message you being like, yeah. I needed that. Or thank you so much for helping me. Or, you know, like just stories that I'm like, it's so cool to see like a girl that was starving herself and then she'll message me like I was, you know, starving myself for this long and like it was in such an unhealthy place and like I got a macro count from you and did your workouts and like I'm, you know, I put on weight and I feel more confident than ever. Like there's things that like bring me back to being like, yeah, it would be really hard to quit. Um, but no, it's not like I haven't thought about it. Like there's times where I'm like, okay, this is a little much. And yeah, I don't know. But then again, I don't put the pressure on myself. I'm like, if I need a break, I take a break. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I need to learn that. I need yeah. to start doing that. Yeah. I think it's good. And I don't think people mind. I think people think like, oh, if I take a break, things are going to go down. My numbers are going to go down. And like, I feel like people respect you for being like, yeah, you needed to take a little break. Like, and now you're back. We're excited to see you again. Yeah, you know, you don't so have true. to be on it all the time because it's not, that's not normal. Like no one else, like the people that are following you that don't do this job are not on it 24 seven, you sure. know? So I feel like they're like, yeah, we respect you for taking a break or like we understand. Facts. You know, I'm normal. I'm just like yeah. everyone else. Like, yeah. It's not like I'm no, just I like, love that. Yeah. So I think a lot of times when moms are also entrepreneurs, they get in that mindset of like, I can't do both sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like you just feel mm-hmm. so overwhelmed. You're like, I should just, because you can't quit being a mom. Yeah. Like you no, just, no. You can't just be like, oh, I'm yeah. just going to do the entrepreneurship <laughs> yeah. thing. Like you. Good luck. You have fun. Good like for yourself. Obviously the kids are going to come first. So yeah. I always wonder when I see like successful people on social media, mm-hmm. like if they ever feel that sense of like, oh, I just don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. You know, and like. I think the times where I'm feeling that or like, I feel like I'll get snappy at my kids. Or yeah. like, and I'm like, I just, cause I'm overwhelmed and stressed. And that's the time where I'm like, okay, time to take a break. Like just even for like a two day period, like, yeah. hey, st- stop stressing about posting on your stories. No one's going to notice yeah. if you don't post on your stories for 48 hours. And then if anything, they'll be excited once you come back, you know, or like I, I used to be like, okay, got to post every day or you got to send an email out every day or whatever, or every week or um, but now I'm like, if I go f- seven days without posting, I'm like, yeah, yeah, so be it. it is. You know, like I'm here, I'm running the business and it's like the stuff that needs to get done, the important stuff, like the workouts on the app and responding to my clients and like yeah. my emails, those are my first priority. And I'm like, that's where I focus on. And then the Instagram part is just like the fun of it. And like when I like have time to share and like want to share and feel like, okay, like yeah. I can do it. I'm in a spot to do it. Then I'll do it. But other than that, I've like, I feel like, and that's just been this last year that I've figured that out I used to put more pressure on myself but yeah I think I'm in that phase right now where it's just like all the pressure yeah it's like I yeah I just want to yeah be better and get better and but you have to remember like yeah you just gotta focus on like your mental health and like where you're at because it can be taxing don't be overwhelmed Mm -hmm. for sure being on social media that much I feel like is not healthy like I'm like I have figured that out I'm like the less I am on it uh, the healthier and the better I am and I'm like, I better, I'm a better mom. I'm a better wife. And then I'm better at showing up when I like need to be showing up on Instagram. But like when it's like, you're forced and like, you got to show up all the time and be on there all the time. Yeah. It's not healthy for well, me. Well, it's not authentic because you're mm-hmm. doing it because you feel like you have to, yeah. not because you want to. Yeah. So, okay. But I will say you are in a better flow when you, like I've kind of lost it. Yeah. I did a story the other day on my story and CJ was like, we were driving and he's like, Ooh, you've lost it. <laughs> You're like, my influencer voice, where to go? <laughs> well, I just like, like I couldn't like get the words out and like yeah. push it the way I wanted to or like yeah. say it like how I, nor- like authentically, I couldn't just yeah. say it like normal. It's like, yeah, I like felt uncomfortable. It felt on like the a camera. script. Yes. Yeah. And so like, I do feel like when I'm on it and just like doing it like it frequently, comes it comes way more natural. So when I've been MIA and I try and jump back on, it does feel like not as like, oh, natural. Like retake. Yeah. And I'm like, how did retake. I used to make this look so natural? Like at the right? beginning, it was just like, hey guys. Da, da, yeah. da, da, da. Well, I also think like when you first start out, yeah, you, you're you not scared of what other people are thinking because the people yes. who are following you, like, you know, yes. like, it's just like whatever, like you're much more carefree with how you talk and how you say things because yep. you don't have a million thoughts in your head being like, okay, I need to make sure I don't do this or say this or do that. And then the bigger you get, the more self-conscious okay, you are. Literally, just gonna say that. Yeah, it's funny when I had like thirty k, so like big enough that I felt like yeah. okay, I can jump on and it's not annoying and weird anymore. Yeah, ten like, k, you're still like, like Ugh. am I bugging you? Yeah, yeah. Thirty yeah. k, like I like felt like okay, I can jump on, and I felt so natural on there, and it felt authentic, and it felt good, and I wasn't so paranoid. I like yeah. shared funny stuff, like you know, like and even just like I wasn't so perfected. Yes. Now that I've gotten like yeah, a little bit more followers, I'm like I. Yeah, it, it, I think about it. I overthink yeah. it. 
and I don't post as much. I don't share as many details as I used to. I don't just like jump on to share a random thought. And I think people used to like that because they would see my personality and just like, oh, that was kind of fun to listen to. It's not yeah. always about just health and nutrition yeah. and all like the like ins and outs of yeah. everything. Yeah. I would just share my life and I feel like people liked that. And now that's kind of hard for me to share. But also because you had a freak come yes, to your house. I know. Which we have to talk about in personal yeah, yeah, trash. Yeah. So thanks for okay. the dumpster deep dive. Yeah. Now we got to go to personal <laughs> yeah. trash. Let's do it. Personal trash is brought to you by Beauty Calls. Beauty Calls Waxing Studio in Draper is owned by a friend of mine named Kylie, who became my friend because she was my waxer first. She was recommended to me about two years ago, and I got my Brazilian wax there, and I never left. I have gone to her ever since, and she is the best in the business. She has over five hundred five-star reviews on Google and she specializes in the Brazilians but she does all other waxing services and does exclusive memberships that give you discounted prices on products and she makes you just feel comfortable which is huge especially when you're going and letting somebody see that part of your body you want to feel comfortable and she's so professional and just makes you feel safe if you go to beauty calls underscore on Instagram, B E A U T Y C A L L S underscore, there's a link in her bio and you can go ahead and book your first service and use code weekly trash for $10 off. I hope you guys do it because she really is the best and she books out fast. So make sure to go over there, book your waxing service and enjoy being hairless. Personal Trash is also brought to you by Happy Homes Organizing. There are three ways that Happy Homes can help you. They can do personal organizing, virtual organizing, or you can buy and follow one of their guides. They can help you tackle any space quickly all in one day. They will buy and bring all the product, handle the returns of the extras, and they will haul away all the trash and the donations that you want to get rid of. They make it functional, but also aesthetically pleasing, and they customize each space to their clients' wants and needs. And if you're moving, they can also help you declutter, pack, unpack, and organizing. With virtual organizing, they can meet you virtually or in person and create you a custom product plan for your spaces with a guide to walk you through the happy home's way of organizing. The guides will be different for each part of the home. The guides will include product systems and links, as well as steps to declutter and organize your space. Now, if you mention Weekly Trash, you will get 20% off all labor. So go to happyhomesprofessionalorganizing.com, H-A-P-P-Y-H-O-M-E-S-P-R-O-F-E-S-S-I-O-N-A-L, organizing.com or go to their Instagram at happy.homes.organizing. For a complimentary quote and consultation, visit and get your prices. They are the best. They did my whole closet, which if you see the transformation, it's insane. They've done my bathroom, they've done my mudroom, and they've done my garage. And I have loved working with them. I've loved my overall experience and it has made my life so much easier finally having all my things organized. So Go ahead and take advantage of this opportunity to get 20%, 20% off and let them know you you got sent by Weekly Trash. And I hate that ending part. So cut that part out. Are you listening? Cut that part out. So head on over and enjoy a organized, clean house. Um, Can we please talk about this man? Yes. Who the heck is Lisa? I know. I know. I okay, here's my thing. So for like, people who don't know, go yeah. to her Instagram. Yeah. And watch, watch my her last, video where she talks about it. Yeah. But a guy showed up at her house. My last reel. Yeah. Um, yeah. So okay. I don't I don't do I need I don't yeah, need to tell the whole story, no, you right? Can, just you go can, into it. You can it. give like a quick like yeah. Subno- well, synopsis. Yeah, so, is, yeah. What's that word? Look at you using That's such big word. words. <laughs> Sub- what is it? Synopsis. No, I, I won't even no, be able to no, pronounce. Fuck it. We're not trying. We're not trying. Move on. Okay. Yeah. Tell the story. Okay. So CJ's out of town. He's in New York for a golf trip. I was, this was like 10 weeks pregnant. I'm super sick. Like just look like a haggard. Like I am like, just like, oh my God. You're in the bed. thick of it. Yeah. Anyways. And I get my little boy off to school. I let him ride his bike for the first time, like by himself without us walking. Cause I was so sick. So I'm like, let him go by himself, which we live super close. Like yeah. all the kids walk by themselves, but I just yeah. am that paranoid mom that like, has Oh, always I'm, walked I'm the them. same way. I'm yeah. the same way. I'm the same way. So anyways, um, it's me and my little girl home. I get like an aggressive knock on the door, kind of like hard at like 9 a.m. And I'm like, yeah. oh, that's weird. Like who's knocking on the door that like loudly. So I tell my little girl, don't answer it. She ends up answering it. I come around the corner. I see this guy dressed in all black, black glasses. 
Um, he's asking like if my dog's okay. I'm like, what do you mean? And he asks again, and then he tries to step in my house saying, can I come find a ball to play fetch? Was um, your dog outside? Yes. And I've had one other neighbor knock on my door and saying like, is your dog okay? Did he get out? Cause they don't know we have an electric, electric fence. fence. So I thought he was asking about that. So I was like, oh, he's fine. Where's the dog when this is happening? Like- my dog is out on the front, uh, front lawn, but then he had come in at that time. He's gotcha. now in the house with us. Um, and then he says, he tried to step in my door frame and he said, can I come inside and find a ball to play fetch? And like, I immediately, when I saw him at the door, he was standing so close to my door and like, I just, it immediately fell off. Like, I'm like, yeah. like you do not belong here. Like I felt, it felt just, you can feel it. Yeah. It just felt very disturbing. Yeah. And so, um, I, he stepped his foot in and I slammed the door on his foot and I was like, nope, goodbye. Which was so funny. Such like a mom thing to say. Yeah. Like, no, nope, lock- Yep. Goodbye. So I locked the door, go run and lock all my other doors. I'm like watching him through my little peephole. My daughter's standing by me. And um, he like starts looking through my office window. So I shut the blinds and then I call CJ and I'm like, okay, this guy is at our house. He parked like, you know, like if someone were to come to your house, it like, you don't know. Yeah. Like, that, you don't, park in, the you don't park in the driveway. Like, right. Is that, yeah. I don't know. I don't, if I like, I would park in your driveway because you know, I'm coming. Yeah. Which I didn't, but like, and I, I told would. you, you, could. you did tell me I could, but like, even like my, when contractors were working at our house, like yeah. they would always park on the street and they never parked in my driveway. Cause if I needed to leave or yeah. like. I don't know. Just feels yeah, a little no, personal. Yeah, yeah. So he was like parked almost up against my garage, like inches from my garage. And um, so I saw him looking through the office windows. I tell CJ, I'm like, he's, he won't leave. I don't know what he's doing. He's like walking up and down my front steps. He walks, starts walking around the side of my home. CJ's, like, CJ's out of town. Out of town. And this is CJ's biggest fear. Like he really struggles with like, he's always like, lock the doors, make sure you answer your phone when I'm gone. Like he's ultra paranoid already. So having this happen when he's out of town was like his biggest like nightmare. So, um, so then I call the cops. I'm like, he's walking around the side of my home. I don't know what he's doing here. He's been there for like 10 minutes at this point. And I'm like, he tries to step in my house. And then as I'm, I end the, like the phone call with the police, CJ, jump, I jump back on the phone with CJ. And as I'm on the phone with CJ, I see him like in the back of his car looking for something. And he starts pulling out something that's black. And I, at this, I, I was pretty calm at the beginning. Yeah. Like, this is weird. This is off. See, I like, would have immediately doing? called the cops. Would I would have been so scared. See, and I like, I don't know why. Maybe I was in shock. I, I was sweating. I was yeah. like, like shaking a little bit, but I was trying to keep my cool. Cause the I, fact that my he little, was looking through your windows is yeah, what would make but me. But it was kind of like, like, I don't want to make it more over dramatic than it was. It's not like he was like, sur- like looking in. It was like, he was just kind of like peeking like this, which is weird. Yeah. Definitely weird and off. But it's almost like I was in shock, kind of. Yeah. And I was in so... In denial. Yeah. Like, this isn't happening. Yeah. And I'm trying to keep my cool because my little girl's standing right by me. Yeah. And she's like, mommy, mommy. Like, you know, nervous. Yeah. And I'm like, it's okay. It's all right. We're good. Like, you know. And you're in your home. So you yeah. feel like you should be safe. Safe. Yeah. Um, so he's, he starts looking in the back of his car. He starts pulling out something's black. And I start freaking out on the phone to CJ. Immediately, I thought, like, it's a gun. Like, yeah. I thought. That's what I thought. Because I saw black metal. Yeah. And um, so I'm like, oh my gosh, CJ, I think he's pulling something out of his the, like car I don't know if it's a gun and then I see it's like a black rod like a not a crowbar because it's like black rod that like extends like almost like a police officer like thing that you know that they hit you with and he extends it okay and I am like oh my gosh he's coming to break a window and so I start panicking on the phone to CJ and poor CJ can you imagine hearing this phone call oh I'm like oh my gosh I'm freaking out. Yeah. It's not like a calm freak out. That yeah, was no. when I really freaked out. Yeah. So CJ is standing on the golf course trying to like, and this is what he's listening to his wife freaking out on the phone. Like there's nothing about he to can come do. In. He's helpless. Yeah. So I see him start walking towards the door, which I didn't see him come up on my steps, but that's where the way he was headed. So I said to CJ, uh, which a lot of people commented on my reel, like have a firearm. You should have a gun, which we do. Yeah. yeah. We do. And so I'm like, CJ said, go get the gun. Yeah. But in that moment to think about like running into the room, opening the safe, getting the, it almost felt too long. Like I was like, that is going to take too much time. Like, I don't know what his plan is. Yeah. So I just said to CJ, I'm running to, I'm running to the neighbor's house. And he knew what neighbor I said the name. And funny enough, I had texted this neighbor in the middle of all this chaos and said, are you home? Like, and I don't even remember texting her that. So like in the middle of that, I was thinking through, like I, it's not like I, but like, it's like I was in so much shock that I don't even remember texting her, but I did text her, are you home? And she said, yes. So like, I remember her saying she was home. So I said, I'm running to our neighbor's house. I picked Jovi up at this point. I didn't know if he's in my backyard on the side of my house. Cause he had wandered all around. And so I tell Jovi, which can you imagine his little kid? I feel horrible. I'm like, I should have handled it a lot better than I did. No, you're scared. But I was terrified. And I was like, 
I was like, be so quiet, be so quiet. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Be so quiet. Be, you know, she's, and she is, she's like, you can tell she's so nervous. I have the phone with CJ. I'm holding her. I go sprinting through my backyard, barefoot, running across my street. And I am pounding on my neighbor's door, pounding. And she didn't answer in three seconds. Like I did not knock for very long, but I could see his foot, his feet. There was a tree blocking my view and his view, but I could see his feet at my front door. So I could see him, but I was scared if he moved, he would see me. It was like, we were like this for yeah. each other, like you and I farther apart. But, and so, um, so she didn't answer within three seconds. So I just barged through her door, barged through her door. <laughs> I looked so crazy. I looked like a crazy. Are you guys close? Yeah. Like we had gone out a walk together a couple of days before. Yeah. We're close, but yeah. not like. Not like barging. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And out of all the neighbors, like she could care less. And her husband yeah. travels a lot too. So she, we both have like talked about like being yeah. nervous anyway so I barged through her door she's like oh my gosh what's happening what's happening she had seen him she's like do you know that guy what's going on anyway so she handled it so well I'm like it just shows that her age difference compared to mine and how much more mature she is she's like here let me take Jovi like looking at me like calm down like yeah. your little girl's right here and she took my little girl she like turned on a show she got her some snacks she started reading her books instantly I'm like, how did she even think to do that? Like, okay. And she's like, you go upstairs and go look through the window and watch from upstairs, like so calmly. And so I go upstairs. I'm watching through the window. He comes back. He puts the thing back in his car with the rod in his car. And then he's just like sitting up against his car, like on the ground, like on my driveway, I believe his car. My, my dog comes trotting over to him. He's just like stroking my dog. And he's just like drinking a drink, which to this day, I don't know if it was alcohol or like, I don't know what it was. An energy drink. I don't know. Anyways, cops show up a couple minutes later. They come from behind him. They like start talking to him. They take him to the curb and are talking to him. And then I can see one of the police officers is like going to knock on my door. So I come walking back over and like, li- li- like again, which I know, like I was in like little shorts. Yeah. You're TMI, but I had yeah. no underwear underneath my shorts yeah, like, and then like no bra and like zit cream. Like I looked like a mess and, um, I just felt so like violated, violated and yeah, yeah, vulnerable. Like I just felt like I wanted to be like covered, covered up. up. Yeah. And so the cop tries to start talking to me right there and the guy is turned around watching me like this. And so I'm like, say to the police officer, I'm like, can we like go inside and talk? Yeah. Like I feel really uncomfortable because I still have no idea what he's yeah. doing here. So we go inside. I tell him one of the first thing I say, cause I couldn't even think I'm like, I work online. <laughs> I'm a sex worker <laughs> online. <laughs> listen so i say that i'm like i work online da, da, da. he showed up i don't know what he's doing whatever okay he's like okay well i'll be back i'm gonna go talk to him so he goes out talks to him again and then after like 10 minutes goes by i see and which i have the best neighborhood i had like four other neighbors come like into my it, through my front door being like what's going on like and they stayed with me until they arrested this guy anyways um so they search his car and then all of a sudden i see them like handcuffing him and putting him in the back of the cop car which kind of freaked me out because I'm like, uh oh, like, did he have, what did he have in the back of his car? Yeah. Like, you know, or like, did he tell them what the plan- game plan yeah. was? Anyways, they, he comes back and the first thing the cop says is like, so what? And he's like, like, concerned. He's not asking me nicely. He's like, so what do you do online? And I'm like, oh, it's from all my neighbors. I'm a fitness and health coach. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> so I show him and he's like, oh, okay, okay. He's like, because he says he's messaging someone on Facebook. Um, that gave him your address to come and meet her here. And, um, which in that moment, same thing, you're just in shock. You can't think through it. Yeah. So I had no questions to really ask. I'm just like, okay, well, do you know who the girl is? They're like, no, we don't. We can't take his phone because it's his property, which I'm like, still maybe someone that like knows this information I'm confused with because I'm like, okay, he got arrested. So don't you take all his belongings and maybe they can't go through his phone. Yeah, I don't know if they can go through it but unless he, they have a warrant. Couldn't they ask him like, hey, can you show us? They could He's, ask him, but and, if he says no. Yeah, if he says no, but if he were willing to, like, they did not even ask him, like, hey, will you show us yeah, that's these weird. messages? Or, hey, who is, like, I just feel like the police officers that came the first time compared to the second, the first police officers that came, it's almost like he kind of was, like, laughing at me. He kind of was, like, smirking when I was, like, kind of crying to him the first, like, the first when I was telling him what ew. was happening. Yeah, it was kind of ew, honestly. And, um, which I, I love police officers. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm so for them, yes. and I'm, like, so grateful for them, and I'm so grateful they showed up to my house to, like, yeah. help me. But it was weird he how wasn't he went about it. Yeah, and I and I get there's way bigger things going on, and I'm sure this is the least important thing that he had done that day or that he was gonna do all day long. But to me, it was a big deal, and like yeah. I'm here by myself protecting my children, like, and I just like you know you I felt don't, violated, yeah. you didn't feel safe, yeah, and so like it felt a little like icky because I almost felt like I couldn't like ask him questions because I feel like he almost like thought it was laughable, yeah, and so, um. 
so I, I kind of just like didn't. I was like too nervous to like ask him. So he, yeah, he, they ended up leaving, taking him. They said we're um, arresting him for drugs and for a warrant, which I don't know what that warrant was for. I think I can go look it up or I can call and ask, which I need to do. Um, anyway, so they arrest him. And then I asked the police officer, I was like, do you like, am I safe to like sleep here tonight? Like, yeah. what would you recommend? Like, do you feel like I'm okay? And he was like, yeah, no, I think, you know, you're fine. We'll patrol through the neighborhood um, tonight um, just in case to help you feel better. Which I'm like, okay, is that every two hours? Is that yeah. every 45 minutes? Is that just how, once? Yeah. Like how often is that? Like, so I ended up sleeping at my parents. I'm like, it's just not worth it. I won't sleep. Yeah. Um, and then CJ would prefer. Yeah. Oh yeah. He probably would have made me. But yeah. then I kept an eye on the jail roster to see when he got out of jail. Um, anyways, second time, you guys, this was four and a half weeks after the first time and um the cj in the in between had gotten a text yes because okay. she found out it was yes. that girl so cj like a week or... later got a text which this is a scam and i know we've like done our research on this so, like a lot of people were commenting being like no that like that is probably them and it, it it could be but i truly feel like it was a scam and i'll tell you the whole text message i don't know if this is too much detail do we need to wrap no this, this up? is amazing <laughs> okay. this is great detail that's what i'm saying like the video okay. that you posted was the miniature i tried this to is make the real it thing. yeah so CJ gets a text and it says, um, I'd like to take you fishing if it's good weather tomorrow, if it's still good weather tomorrow. And CJ said, wrong number. And then they said, it's Lissa. Don't you remember? Which I had called the police officer after the first time, like four hours after the, it had happened. Yeah. Because I then all of the questions came too. And so I called him and I was like, hey, you were just out at my house a couple hours ago. I just had a couple more questions now thinking back on it. Do you know the girl's name? Um, so that I know who's giving my address out. Like, yeah. can you at least tell me her name? And is it a fake account? Is it a real account? And he's like, oh, we didn't look at it. I'm like, well, were there like messages going back and forth? Was it just my address? Yeah. And he's like, oh, I didn't, we didn't really look at it. We didn't get an eye, which just bugged me. I'm like, why did you not like, I don't yeah. know. That was like, if I it was a police officer, that maybe be one of the first things I would do. It's like, hey, let me see the messages. Like, yeah. what are you doing here? Let's confirm your story that you're saying you're here to meet a girl. Yeah. You know, anyways. He's like, oh, we didn't um, look at that. And I can tell he's like at the gym, <laughs> which I feel so bad. I, I called him on his time off. Yeah. And he's like, well, I'll, I'll try and get that to that tomorrow. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I like have to sleep. I'm like, well, at that point, I was still planning on sleeping at my house. I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm fine. Anyways, he called, he did call me the next morning and he said, I couldn't see any of the messages, but on the body cam, he says her name is Lissa, which this police officer didn't. Um, I don't feel like English was like his first language. So okay. like I, it could have been Lisa and I misunderstood over the phone. Gotcha. So he said Lisa. So now, okay, back to the text from CJ. He gets this text and it says, he says, I want to take you fishing. So he just has wrong number. Then that number text back and says, it's Lisa. Don't you remember? Which ooh, chills. Like how creepy uh, is yeah. that? <laughs> it's Lisa. Don't you remember? Period. So CJ called the number. It doesn't let go through call it again doesn't go through i call my uncle he's like it's a burner phone and then cj texts back and he said um i can't remember like what he said that time but he said something like um okay sounds great but i need like he wanted to see if it was a scam my uncle was like a lot of those numbers are like scammers and maybe yeah. it's a coincidence it's just the same name anyways yeah. i don't know thinking back on it it feels different but it had been like since it had been so long i'm like yeah it was just a scam like yeah. anyways but he said like i need three hundred dollars or something and the guy the person that was texting said okay send me your cash app and i'll send you a thousand dollars and so cj was like you blah 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 i don't know if the words i can use on here like stop scamming people leave us alone yeah. that, you oh know, you can say any words i said yeah. Fuck. <laughs> hey you piece of shit like. and so then the text ended Nothing happened. Four and a half weeks go by. We're like, yeah, okay. It was no big deal. He was just like really trying to meet up with this girl, um, which he had told the police officers that she had said, bring a gift card. We'll let my kids go shopping while like they get down. So he said he was there to like have sex with her, like to get down with this lady, Lisa, Lisa, whoever her name was. So but that's what his story but was. no correlation between that and the text message CJ correct got. is no yeah so right, uh, that we think. just thought like mm, it's just a okay. coincidence that and I know that sounds so stupid but at that time it felt like he like the police made us feel as if like yeah he was there to meet this girl we saw like he was messaging her on Facebook someone sent your address and my address too it was like she sent it in a way where like you would have like dropped a pin on the map because it like says like dash with a different like I can't like it's hard to say like yeah. too much yeah but, like different numbers and some like we had 
done some research and it says that if you like drop a pin, it does like this dash a different number to like take you to the exact pin. Okay, so, wait, so that's really creepy. How did she even like? Yeah. Or he. Well, and or- it says though, it's like, it's like, I'm going to make up some numbers, but like two, three, four dash 800. It's in between those numbers, my house. So like it wasn't my exact house number. Gotcha. But th- that's what also is weird about it. Then why did he not knock on any of my neighbor's doors? Yeah. Why did he own, like, why has he come back to my house three different times? It only comes like on my video cameras. It's like, he only comes directly to my house. He's not like searching to be like, Oh, is it this house or is it down here? Or like, he like, you watch him like pulling and it's like, Whoosh! that's like where the destination is. I'm like, I'm going right to that house. So, like, there are some things that are off. And we're still, I mean, we've done everything we can do. Anyways, wrapping the story up. He showed four and a half weeks go by. Me and CJ are in bed sleeping. It's like 8 a.m., 8.30. And my little girl's watching a movie. Thank heavens, same thing. My little boy was at his his cousin sleeping over. So both times my little boy has been gone, which is such a blessing because he's like six years old that this would have freaked him out. He has no idea about any of this. And um, so it's 8.30. We get a... ring at the doorbell my little girl's like someone's there someone's there and so we look on our camera we're rolling in bed and he's in all black leather with a black helmet and i instantly knew from like his body stand like from his body like yeah yeah like how his he, body language yeah that it was him but before he took off his helmet so we just sat there and i said i said to him i was like i think that's him and then we waited and then he took his helmet off and i said that's him that is definitely him because it was weird because he came on a motorcycle that time so like it wasn't the same car Anyways, and then, so CJ jumps up, throws his clothes on, and goes out there. And I am, like, terrified because I'm like, okay, are one of them going to pull a gun? Like, what's going to go, like, what's going to happen out there? I have no idea why he's here again at 8.30 in the morning. We're, like, barely waking up. So, same thing. I'm in shock just, like, watching on my camera. And I'm, like, just watching to see what happens. I couldn't even think about calling the police because I was too scared to turn the camera off to not watch what happens to CJ. Like, I'm like, he's out there with this guy alone. So anyway, so they ended up talking for a little bit. When he walked out, the guy was like, oh, sorry, wrong house, wrong house. And CJ's like, what are you looking for? And CJ, like, now looking back, he's like, I wish I would have been more aggressive and been like, what are you doing here? Get off my property. Like, you got, you know. But in the moment, like, like, it's so funny what you do when When you say you would do what you really do. Yeah, exactly. And at first, he also didn't know if he had a gun or what his plan was. So you also don't want to come out too aggressive and piss him off and like make him do like react. Yeah, no. So he came out and he's like, well, who are you looking for then? He said, Lisa. He's like, well, Lisa doesn't live here. He's like, I don't know any Lisa that lives right here, you know? And he's like, oh, okay. And he starts like getting on his phone and he's like shaking a little bit. And then he just got on his bike and like took off. So I called the cops. CJ jumps in his truck and I just see his truck take off and like chase him. So we both called the cops and we're like, hey, this is where they're at. And the cops like pull them over in Centerville, which is funny. I had a couple of my followers be like, oh my gosh, we saw them pulled over on the side of the road. We were wondering what was going on, but they couldn't arrest him because he didn't seem like he was on drugs. They couldn't check what was in his backpack because there was no reason for them to like look. He didn't like give them a reason to look in his backpack. And then um, they did like do a trespassing order and he signed it. So he knows we have a trespassing order. And then the cops just said, I would go in and go get a restraining order. Because, like, why would he go back there? Like, yeah. he knows that yeah. this Lisa, so, Lisa girl and I did, there. But here's the thing. I didn't say that the first time. So my only other thing that I wish I would have asked the cops, like, looking back on it again, the second time around, I wish I would have said, when I was on the phone with CJ and the police were standing there on the side of the freeway, I wish I would have said, CJ, have them look at the Facebook profile and make sure it's not my picture. Because I'm a little worried that this person is, like, catfishing me. And that he thinks I am Lisa. Like, if he saw my face, and or am I her daughter? Like, is he has he not yeah. seen Lisa yet? And he's still trying to meet up with her? Because, like, the first time I did it, he never asked about Lisa. Which, that's the other weird thing. If he were there to meet Lisa, why did he not come to the door and say, Hey, is Lisa here? Why did he come say, to your, is your dog okay? Yeah, because he thinks... He, she could be underage. Like, I've gone through so many scenarios. I'm like, okay, maybe he didn't ask because this girl's underage. So he didn't want to say, does Lisa live here? Because, like, can yeah. you get in trouble for that? Yeah. I don't know. So there are some weird things, but I'm like, now I wish I would have said is I want to make sure that profile picture is not my picture not and he doesn't think you. I'm Lisa. Yeah. Or yeah, I want to know who is giving him my address. And, and he again said to the police officers, he did show the text message again, the messages and he scrolled through the Facebook messages. And there's like a lot, the police officer said that are like paragraphs. And she did say to come to hit their that address again to meet her. Same thing said, bring a gift card. We'll let my kids go shopping. We'll like, they got down. 
And so like, I don't know. And like, here's the thing too. He does not seem like he has all his brain cells. Like he yeah. does not seem like this bright, smart guy. But who knows? He could be fooling us all. I have no idea. But like, that's what the cop also said. So I'm like, is he really smart enough? Or does he really just think he's like coming to like get down with this girl? But that's so, freaky. but why would this girl not? I don't know. I'm like, but, but like, why? what's the point of the people that are sending him yeah. my address? What are they getting out of it? They're not getting money from it. Cause yeah, no. they don't live there. Like, are they doing they're, it to harass you? Yeah. And that, yeah. And I like, cause think, if they're using your picture and they're also sending which we your don't know if address, using my picture, but like, but if possibly, they were, if they yeah. were using your picture and mm-hmm. your address, yeah. that sounds like someone trying to make yeah. your life hard. Yeah. And here's the thing that that's weird. Like, it means you never think about that, but I'm like, I truly don't feel like I have anyone in my life or that like knows me unless it's like someone I don't know. Yeah. But like that would mess with me in that type of way. Like I just like even the thrill out of it. Like I'm like, I don't get like, I, it's not like I've shared too much or like saying it's affecting me too much or like, you know what I mean? That I'm like, yeah. I don't get like what the thrill is with doing it necessarily. Like there's a lot of other pranks so they could be doing, weird. but like, yeah, but maybe it is like, there's so many ways that could like could happen. Here's the freakiest part about the whole story in my personal opinion is we had heard a motorcycle like three nights in a row, three days in a row, whatever. I don't remember the exact times, but we went and looked back because when he showed up on that motorcycle and we listened on our camera, CJ's like, I remember hearing that motorcycle like a couple nights ago. And he's yeah. like, don't you remember? I asked you like, who was riding that motorcycle? Like it was so late at night and it was so loud and they like kept going through the neighborhood. So we go back to our cameras. So that happened on Saturday. We go back to it like Tuesday. And he, at 11.50 p.m., drove to our house that night on Tuesday, sat, didn't pull in my driveway, but sat in front of my house for 10 minutes, just sat on his bike for 10 minutes in front of my house and then left. And then my neighbors, I had, like, after I posted that reel, I had, like, two or three other neighbors be like, I remember hearing that motorcycle and thinking that was weird. And, like, I heard it, like, a couple days in a row. So now I'm, like, I'm curious if I can go back and go see if it were, like, on other days as well. But like, I feel like that's the freakiest part about all of it is like that he came again, but he didn't come like, hey, I'm here to meet Lisa. He just sat there for 10 minutes and maybe he was waiting for her to pull up. Maybe they said this time, we'll meet you like just out front. I have no idea. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to not freak myself out too bad and be like, no, this is just like, because I had also other people be like, no, we've had similar situation. People that are on drugs, like they do weird things like this. Yeah. And he was like high the first time he came. Yeah. And so, like, but then also I'm trying to not be, like, oblivious and just, like, stupid to the fact that, like, it could be something else. That's so... Ugh. So, yeah. So weird. I know. I know. It's a really weird and thing. And really freaky. Yeah. Especially when you have kids. Like, you're always, yeah. like, more on edge. Absolutely. And I feel like and now it's, like, made me, like, I used to be, like, pretty just, like, leave my garage open, leave my front door yeah. open, like, leave my keys in my car. Like, yeah. Like, not super worried about it. And now I'm like, we got like a full bank security Good. system. Like we got like, you know, the, like the fire and we have my garage is always shut. My doors are always locked, like, you know, and multiple locks on every yeah. door. And so like, I'm like, I do feel like I'm safe in that type of way. Like I'm like, okay, like, and I'm like, I live in like a neighborhood where people I think would hear anything, but yeah, I'm like, I've taken every precaution. We've like talked to law enforcement. Like they they like know what's going on. Like they told us like all the steps to go take to like, make sure it doesn't happen and if he does come like back he'll go to then jail. he'll yeah go to jail and like then i can do more about it at that point but yeah so weird so yeah. weird i know and this was just like was this, this was last just tuesday that, um so this was last saturday and yeah last tuesday oh. mm, no 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 because that was thanksgiving weekend so the weekend before that oh my gosh yeah really weird yeah well Anyways. i hope he doesn't come back i know same i just still don't understand what gets me is like the Lisa text message. I know. So I'm like, know. there's no way that's just I know, coincidence. A coincidence. I know. It is weird. And it's a bummer because like we can't look up that phone number. Yeah. So like that could also be the person that's behind sending my address. Yeah. Also be messing us with us in that way too. But then for it to be but, so random too, mm-hmm. like every like three weeks. I know. Like I'm like, why wait so long? But the cop did say that for months they had messages going back and forth like this second time the cops came i was like okay go look at the messages can, can he show you are they is it a real person they said they can't see if it's a real person because <clears throat> they on facebook but yeah. they did scroll through his they had him scroll through his phone and show and they said there was like 
have months you, of messaging. Have you gone on Facebook and just typed yeah. in Lisa and see if no, Yeah, I have. Or his name? I know his name. Go to his name and then go to his friends. I have and done look that. Up L, Lisa. I have, like I have done that and there's nothing for Lisa. I actually have not done it for Lisa. So I actually should go do that right now. Yes. But I do know his first and last name. I know where he lives. I know his age. Like I know. I've looked up a lot of information. I like Good. I got his record. Like I know every like all his information. You start showing up at his yeah, house. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> but I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm like, he's 42. It, it's I don't know. It's just like such a bizarre situation. Like I feel like my intuition wants to be like, it's re- like it's not. Yeah, give him a benefit of the doubt. Like- well, Do to it. go do that do but yeah it's not like he like and obviously like it's not like he follows me on any of my accounts unless it was like he had a fake yeah. account but so freaky i know i know okay well any other trash i guess it was thanksgiving <sighs> so that's like yeah what'd you guys do for thanksgiving we were down in st george with my family oh okay so did your family move to st george after um, high school no 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 my parents just have like a second home down there oh, okay. gotcha, condo. Gotcha, gotcha. so yeah we go down there like every go so often swim, yeah do all that it was too stuff. cold to, like oh, it was. my kids like, no my kids did swim too cold oh. for me but like no it was fun to get away st george is like fun but there's really nothing to do there yeah that's you know what? so many people love it and i i kind of feel the same way we like, played like pickleball yeah we went on a hike we went swimming we went to like two a con. So like we did do things, but I feel like there are definitely things you could just like have done here. Yeah. No, we but. almost got like a place there yeah. to like have as a rental property yeah. and like Airbnb or whatever. But it was like, yeah. why here? I know. Like, you know, it's so funny. I kind of feel that way, but like my husband loves it. Yeah. But I also feel like he dirt bikes and he golfs See, and yeah. like does all that stuff. So if, for him, it's like he gets If you more, golf, it's yeah. great. Because then you have better and weather. And then you leave the wife. Yeah. for eight yeah. hours while you golf yeah. and Stuck then the, the wife kids. is like cool yeah. what should we do in this tiny yes. town absolutely like, and i'm like it was fun to all stay together but then also after a couple of days it's like okay like we need we all need, we need our space yeah. yeah yeah no i would the only thing that is nice about st george is like a trip quick to vegas yeah but then it's like why wouldn't i yeah. just go to vegas yeah see and we don't ever go like to vegas and i think it's just because thinking about driving another two hours or whatever just like the yeah, like no. with kids not yeah, like no. worth it no but so you did thanksgiving st george yeah. What do you do? Um, Were you here with your family? Or? Yeah, we hosted. No, you, oh, I forgot. You said you have people stay. Yeah, we hosted. It, it wasn't bad. It was good. Yeah. It was good. I love I love having everybody here. I'm yeah. grateful that we have a big enough house that everyone can come yeah. here because it's my family and Caleb's family. So fun. Because fun I have, to kind of combine. Yeah. And like, it doesn't happen every year because, yeah. you know, some years is exclusive to one family. Yeah. But like, my family's so small, so it's easy for them to just kind of like tag Come along in, yeah. when it's with When it's fun family. if they get along and just like, yeah. And, and it so makes it's it a easy. good time. But we went and saw the Trolls movie yesterday. Well, we did too. Okay. That movie is like an acid trip. <gasps> yeah. Oh like what the Wait, hell and we were in 3d and i was like Ugh. you saw it in 3d we didn't know at the point like at that point but when we got there they're like oh yeah you guys book tickets for the 3d i didn't even know it came out in 3d oh yeah trolls in general is yeah. kind of like an acid trip yeah. when you watch it like <laughs> it whoever is. wrote the thing is on shrooms or I, something yes but this one to me was worse than all the other ones. Okay, and I actually have never even watched the other one. Oh, you I've haven't? seen parts because my so kids. So were you watch like it. petrified? Were you like, well, what are we watching? I I was a little like weird. I'm like, huh, this is so interesting. And CJ leaned over to me and said, like, when we were little kids, like we had like way better like Disney movies. Like yeah. the movies they now like uh, are not as good. But I said I was like, well, yeah, but I think we were kids at that point, so maybe they were better to us at that yeah, time. Yeah, like, our kids. Will think our this kids is think great. this is great, and they my kids loved it. Oh, my, but son- like. I, I, and then the thing is too, I was like, I watched, but I also, when I'm like, I feel like you're so distracted. I'm like giving popcorn and treats right, and you're like putting the, taking yeah. them to the bathroom. And like, so I'm like, I didn't like follow along completely. Whenever they go into the little car to go. Oh yeah. That hustle. little like ladybug yeah, thingy. The yeah. And they like have like a full on yes. like acid trip. Like you're it's right. literally so you weird. You are right. It's there are some so weird, weird. If you really think about it, you're like, how do they even like come up with that? Like, no, they had to have been on trips. Yeah. Like yeah. it is the weirdest thing. We left and. Caleb is like so chill. He's like, oh, it's fine. And I yeah. was like, 
No, that was weird. Okay, like, see, that was weird. But also, I'm a conspiracy theorist, and okay. I'm like, okay, they're trying to take my kids' <laughs> souls. Like, what? Why did the guy have three eyes? Yeah. Why did he have three eyes? Okay. Like, random things like okay, that. Okay, see, and I'm more like your husband. I'm like oblivious. And she's like, yeah, yeah, it's kind of yeah. Cute. He was like, all they the troll movies jokes. are weird, and I'm like, no, this one was really weird. <laughs> This is really weird. And like, they're making the trolls make out. They're like, can we make yes. out? And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. Like, they're like, I just started around. like thinking of like all yes. these things where I was like, this was inappropriate. Yeah. Okay, see, that totally shows like your personality compared to mine. Yeah. Like, I'm just like happy go like, yeah. And then yeah. I'm like, move on. Like, yeah. yeah. You no. are more like you I'm, think through it all. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which is horrible because it no. really is just a kid's movie. No, 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 and no, I'm like sitting not. over here like, it's not. But like, I know my kids didn't pick up on literally yeah, any no, of it. They don't. They don't. But this. This one particularly seemed like yeah. it was more for adults because it was like talking yes. about in sync because yes. it was like Justin Timberlake. Well, and they had some dirty jokes too. Yeah, and they had some like, dirty jokes uh-huh. and like oh, the yeah. part where they bleeped out where he was like, "What the?" Yeah. And it went, yes. and I was like, yes. "What is happening right yes. now?" Like, I know my kids yes. are so little they don't get this, but like if I had like a seven year old, yeah, I feel like I would have been a little like, Ew. yeah, you're right. And see, I think my kids are kind of younger that they don't, yeah. I, so I didn't think much of it. Yeah. I was just like, but I'm sure there's a mom listening to this right now thinking I am yeah. so annoying to even yeah. think that this movie was inappropriate. No. But I'm like, no, no, I think more weird. moms would be on your bandwagon than mine. It was like weird. Moms are very, very like I feel like all of a sudden they're like, oh, this show on Netflix, or <clears throat> and I'm like. Oh, I was cool. I had yeah. no idea. Oh, I would no. have never picked up no, on yeah, that for sure. Because I think I see it more like same thing with like the guy. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, just, yeah. it's just TV. It's fine. Yeah. So I'm like, I actually, I really appreciate those parents are like kind of picking things out. Like that's oh, yeah. weird. I'm like, I'm like, actually grateful weird. that you've kind of mentioned that. No, I, but I also think I'm like overreacting like a thousand percent. <laughs> but I was just like, this is weird. Yeah, so it we was. Did, so weird. we watched that yesterday. It it's definitely not one that I'll be like yeah. ranting to watch again. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of weird. But we did that. I'm trying to think of anything else we did this. Oh, I know what I need to talk about. Oh. Have you seen Special Forces? No, wait. I screenshotted your story. I screenshot it. And oh. I was like, okay, I need a new show. This is what I'm going to start okay. watching. So I had seen Does a- your husband like it? Yes. Okay. Which is like rare for us to find. Yeah. Like we used to have shows, but we've watched them all. So okay. we haven't had a show that we Together. both equally yeah. like. In I think that's kind of where we're at right now. Yeah. We have not had one in forever. And I had seen a TikTok or an Instagram yeah. reel. And it was a video of Jojo Siwa okay. ha- ho- like throwing Tom Scandival yeah. over her shoulder <laughs> yeah. and like walking. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this is, yeah. but this is hilarious. Yeah. And everyone was like, this is special forces. Uh-huh. You have to watch this. It's so good. Wait, so are they on it? Like they're, are they yes, like, they're on it. Okay. And I was Wait, like, what is it even about? Like, so what? it's these reality celebrities. Okay. This is only the second season. So okay. the first season already happened, which I want to go back and watch the first okay. season. But I started with the second season because it's on right now. The finale yeah. is on tonight. Mm-hmm. Go Tyler Cameron. Okay, so- um, but basically, it's all these people from reality TV or actresses, okay. just like people in the spotlight. Which is what I like. Yeah, past I like, like NBA players, NFL players, fun. and they go and they do these um, tasks. S- tasks. Okay. It's like the world's hardest things that huh. people in like the military and the Navy Stop. do, like people who are on special forces. Okay. okay. And it's called um, not recruitment, but it's basically like this. Do you know what I'm talking about? What What is it called? what they're doing is it recruitment week okay they like recruit each other like it's like the week where they're it's what they're doing okay okay it's special oh okay i need i need to google because it's driving me nuts i should have been more prepared and i was thinking your story was like um like the last season of vanderpump rules so i heard it like scroll through it because i'm like i'm not caught up on vanderpump rules and and tom is on there yeah so i didn't want to see anything but that's he's on this okay and they're doing okay where does it say what's it say what's it say special forces tv show what's going on selection she is quick selection thank you she's quick at these selection so like not recruitment selection they're doing selection it's a week long or five days or something like that and they start out i think with like 14 people Uh and they have to do these tasks and they wear these wristbands they're they go by a number they don't go by their name so like all these people who like are famous who are used to people like just being like i love you they're being called number two they're like number two wow like and it's so funny to watch them get treated that way (laughs) but like Whoa, what's her face? Black China. Okay. Black China. Yes, she was on, on it. There. 
and like watching her get just like oh yeah eaten treated apart like that. was like the best oh my because she's such a bitch but anyways i don't know so, i don't know her very well so she, i don't i, know I don't, she I don't, is, I don't know her I don't personally like, well, yeah. <laughs> but she sucks <laughs> and they have them do these tasks and yeah. if they don't want to do them they have to like withdraw okay and like give them their number and then they leave so, so then it's like the final person like that so ends and does all of, or is it so like, they do all of them they just like get to say they did it it's like, not like they win anything okay so there's not okay okay it's just like who who is strong That's enough cool. to be able to do all these they tasks don't need anything anyways yeah it's like you guys don't yeah. get no prizes gonna and right now there's tom left there's okay. jojo siwa left there's tyler cameron okay and so that's who you want um yes which like i know he'll do it he'll, yeah he'll be he'll, able to yeah. finish he'll be able to finish and then there's an olympic uh skater okay and tell me like one of the tasks that they have to do like give me an example okay. like what's one so thing they've had to do they had to propel down this like massive yeah not even mountain i don't even know what it was they have to propel down this massive thing and then another time they had to i don't even know what okay so oh, they do the trust fall where so they go back. Like, it's like, it's like they're like dares, but like they're like insane. Okay. It's like things that. I'm like, I couldn't yeah. do that. Couldn't do that. Really? Couldn't do that. Like, it is so impressive okay. that they're doing this. Wow. It's so, it is oh, so good. I'm it's the best show tonight. on television. And then Tyler Cameron is just so fucking hot yeah, and like is. sexy. <laughs> and like, there's just one part where yeah. he literally is like throwing up and the guy's like, uh, throw up staring at me so I can see your face. And he's literally looking Stop. at him and just like projectile vomits. Stop. And I'm like, you're so hot. Like, that's weird. <laughs> But they all have to like poop in these like stalls together and like pee in these stalls. So they like live. Are they like? But, living yeah, they there? live. They, live they live in a very wow. like like not tough nice. environment. Yeah. Oh, I'm like shocked. So that. good. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna start. Oh, Should Nick I... Vile. That's the other oh, guy Nick that's Vial. in it. Vile. Yes, from The Bachelor. Yes. Oh, see, that's a, uh, kind of not surprising. Tom, for yeah. some reason, surprises yeah. me. Yeah, and I guess like season one, everyone says is even better than season okay. two. Okay, so, so like, should I'm I start excited. season one? Because I'm like, yeah, I'm do, gonna catch yeah, do up. season one. Okay. I'm gonna start season one after tonight. Okay, after okay. The finale. Yeah, it's kind of like, like you the don't best have to show start on television. Season one. It's kind of no, it's just like whatever. But I'm excited. So good. Okay, it's so good. I need a good show. So that's like been taking up my like entire time. Yeah, just watching special. I need a show. No, it's now that I'm one. feeling better at night, I'm like I can actually like watch something. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Okay. Special Forces, a thousand percent. So that's what's kind it of on been, Netflix? It's on Hulu or okay. Fox because okay. it's on TV right now. Oh yeah, on yeah, yeah. Fox. So Hulu, you'd have to watch like so the day Hulu after. So Hulu the day after. Okay. So the finale's on tonight on Hulu, so I'll watch it. Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. At the gym. I'm excited. On the Stairmaster. So you don't watch it with your husband. You just watch it by yourself. No, I will actually. I'll, now that you say that, um, <laughs> I am gonna have to wait for him, unfortunately, because yeah. he will be upset. Yeah. But are you watching The Bachelor or Golden Bachelor? Or no. Maybe Bachelor. What? No. no. I thought you were one of those people. I used to be. Okay. I used to be, but okay. then when Chris Harrison left, yeah. I left too. Which is so funny. I miss Chris Harrison, but I actually feel like the new host. I don't know his name actually, um, but I don't yeah. feel like he's not Jesse. Jesse. I don't think he's that bad. I actually feel like he's no, doing a good job. No, it's just like there's something. Different. It's off. It's different. It, there's just something that yeah. is yeah. not therapeutic. Um, yeah. It reminds me of home. Yeah. You know, you're definitely right. And I do, but it, I actually feel like he's like very similar. I, I was yeah. more bugged similar about it vibes. before I like watched. And now that I've watched him, like, yeah, he's actually done a decent job. I did watch one episode okay. of the new. Golden Bachelor. Not Golden Bachelor. Bachelor the one before. The girl. Oh, with um charity uh, charity yeah uh, i was so bad yeah i watched I, the first episode this is so yeah, bad charity season was not great and he got better and even her and a lot of people actually ended up loving her i was like a little at first i was like oh really it was seemed so scripted it, it does and she's she actually is kind of cheesy and like a yeah. little like not as natural i'd feel like on there but i ended up liking her but okay. i will say the golden bachelor That's i have actually everyone says. loved but people say they cry and i don't want to do. cry i don't want to be yeah. sad no but it's like an uplifting cry like you're like oh like i don't know i don't know no, I, I loved can't. it i can't watch old i haven't people. cried i can't watch old people you leave know, and get sad yeah you know though i haven't cried okay there's been times but you where don't like, cry aubrey yeah you're right you said you're I, not my emotional eyes got teary i cry once or all twice. the time do you that if actually surprises me if it's me. dogs or okay. kids okay i'm done for yeah and kids. like old people done yeah. for kids and old people i'd say like get me done for yeah i'm done for so that's my personal okay well it is good forces. and bachelor in paradise i feel like is always just kind of entertaining 
Yeah. But, it, but you have to like know the people on it. Yeah, I don't you know do. On it. You do. Okay. But. Well, Dink, what about um Real Housewives? Have yeah, you watched Salt I've been, Lake? I've been really watching Hills? Salt Lake. I love okay. them. They're yeah, good. I do They're too. Good. This season's the best they've had too. Or the for sure. Mon- Monica has made the Salt Lake yes. season so entertaining. And okay, her, I think she lives near me because I heard yeah, maybe I this is so creepy, yeah, no, but her daughter's sure. shirt said Davis football. Yeah. Anyways, but I think they do. love her. I think they do. I think she's great reality television. She is. And I great love watching her live her. She's just like way more like, I don't, I don't wear like Chanel and I'm not yeah. like, and she's like way upfront about it all. And I think it's so cool. That she'll Which is also confusing though, how she got on the show. Cause it's yeah. like meant to be that. And yeah. She's yeah. Like that. I just thought of something that I have to address because yeah, people are asking. It. Um, I FaceTimed Tyler Cameron. I did like I it. I saw that. Yeah, and everyone's like, Wait, how yeah, did how you do, do that? How do you know him? So I need to like clear the air here. Um, and you're not even a Bachelor fan. <clears throat> what? No, I am. Okay, no, okay. I No, I was you a Bachelor fan. I was a Bachelor fan until Chris until, left. Yeah, you're right. So, so when all he these was on, people okay. I love. Like, I'm an OG Bachelor fan. Because he's like one of my fan. favorites. Like, yeah. he's probably the... It's yeah, no, like, he's my favorite. Okay, well, um, what the details? Let's so like, we're best friends. We dated back in... I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm like, you're lying. Like, please tell me you got down with him. Please. I'm like, so we actually dated in 2014. I sucked his dick. No, I'm kidding. Um, no. So I had just had Brooks, yeah. my second. And my sister-in-law texted me and was like, you will not believe who was at Bam Bam's barbecue in Provo. And I'm like, who? Yeah. And she's like, Tyler Cameron. And I was like, shut the fuck up. And this was like in the thick of coronavirus yeah. 2020. Everyone has masks yeah. on. And so she has her mask on and she's like, do I go up and talk to him or is yeah. he going to be freaked out because of coronavirus? And I'm like, you, you go better. up there right Absolutely. now and FaceTime him. And so, so she went up to him up and she was like, can I FaceTime my sister-in-law? Like she loves you and she just had a baby and like this would make her whole day. <laughs> and so she FaceTimes him and he was so nice. And we talked Wait, for like what? five minutes. You are like, so you're just like on your couch. Like, yeah, hey, I was just on my couch, literally breastfeeding. I was literally just breastfeeding. No. And he was like, oh, I heard you had a baby. And I'm like, yeah, I named him Brooks. I yeah. should have named him Tyler yeah. though. Like, and he was I actually like, think I might oh, change it. Oh yeah. He was like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And I'm like, why are you here? Yeah. And he was like, I'm just hanging out. You should have had gotten him on the podcast. Why did you not right? do an episode? Right. Well, this was also two years ago. Okay. So, but we were still doing it. You were, right? No. You weren't doing it at that point. No. I thought you did I have, you had Banks. I No, this is Brooks. I mean, Bro- my second. Oh, this is Brooks. So not this my is a third. long time yeah, ago. Yeah, this was two years ago. Oh my gosh. Okay. Three. Three years ago. Okay. Now that makes more ago. sense. Yeah. Okay. It makes more sense now. Because it was during coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Hot minute Which feels like it wasn't that long ago. I know. But like 2020. It's going to be 2024. What? Okay, so wait, and then you've kept in touch with him? like No. Like, oh, so that was an old FaceTime. <laughs> that was an old I, FaceTime from 2020. Oh, I just can't. I'm like, I literally thought that like you had been like, I love him. And then you literally like jumped on FaceTime no. with him. No, I wanted people to think that. And I, I was, oh, I, yeah. I believed it. But it's crazy because I have all these weird stories of FaceTiming people from The Bachelor. It's because you're so brave. Like, I feel like you're just like, and then you're someone that's so easy to talk to. I said on my story before I came and filled this podcast, yeah. I was like, you're one of those people that like you meet and you're like, yeah, we're best friends. Oh, like you make friends. everyone, no, you really do. Oh, thanks. And like everyone wants to be friends with you and you make it so easy. So I feel like Stop. for like for even for him, like I bet you could message him. Like, do you no. remember me? Like, can we FaceTime Well, again? Dylan, I yeah. had FaceTime Dylan. Do you know Dylan and Hannah? They got married, Hannah G. Yeah. yeah. Um, I had FaceTime Dylan as well. Wait. Back when oh, they yeah, were on Dylan Paradise. Hannah, cute blonde, little yes, petite. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wait, how did you face Them. So cute. And I was like, I love them. Also, fun fact, I FaceTimed Dylan forever ago and I posted the picture of us FaceTiming yeah. and I tagged him and he t- he DM'd Wait, me you're lying. and he was like, LMAO. <gasps> and I was like, we need to do this again. And he's like, I bet we can find the time. So. Okay, wait, you should get them on. Wouldn't that be so fun? You, I'm not would. at that level. I'm not no, at that level. They would Aubrey, but like, because yours, no, that, I think, they, I don't think they care what level. I think it's if you're like, oh yeah, I could like click could and vibe. talk to that person and vibe yeah, and like, they're I don't cool know. and like chill. And easy to talk to. I don't know. I think they care about the level, unfortunately. So Aww. maybe one day. Maybe one day. We're we'll have your followers there. do a GoFundMe and we'll all pitch in so you can pay them. <laughs> well, the, they don't get on. paid to come on things. So but I don't know if they'd saying, even take my money. I think they'd they be, would. They, they have so much. They don't want my... No. How much is going to be this GoFundMe? Like 20 grand? Like, 
We could do it. That is, <laughs> I'm going to try that Forget next Forget donating to charity, you guys. 20 grand. We could get Hannah G and Dylan <laughs> on the podcast. Okay, not a GoFundMe. Like a, yeah, that was there's, not good There's people dying in the world, but guys, <laughs> this is important. Well, okay, maybe like just your Venmo. But hey, yeah, if just, you want to pitch. If you want to pitch in and you have the money to do so. A couple hundred here oh and there. We could gosh. do it. We could That's do so it. Cool. I'm going to try that. Like no, at the end of No, like, you should a thousand percent do it because like, hey, you have like a following. We're doing a watch party. Like, can we? FaceTime you? No, you should have thought because like you have to realize when I was doing it, yeah. I had ten followers that on my personal account stop. that was private. Kate, you know who I'd want to do is Caitlin Bristow or whatever her last oh, name. Yeah, is. yeah, Caitlin Bristow. Love yeah. her. Yeah, no. she's too big now because she's been like dancing with you the stars. You should definitely should be slide in those DMs. Oh my god, it's guys, it's the that way to is, do it. The DMs. I'm I never you. would think they'd ever like actually face. No, nobody ever thinks that. Yeah, but they do. Oh. If if you're lucky, if yeah. you if you go in with a good catchy like, message, people are always like, "How do you get people on the podcast that yeah. you don't know?" It's my DMs, yeah. baby. You just gotta be. Yeah. You gotta have the right the like right wordage. Put, pitch it the right way. Yeah. yeah. You're good at it. You don't want to come out like super fan, yeah. freaky, creepy. No. Because I'm not super fan, no. creepy, freaky. You know what? I super fan over um after you posted my like whatever video that I was oh, yeah, coming yeah, on yeah. my yeah, yeah. tummy's just popping out yeah. um we love Indie it. Blue watched my stories <gasps> and I, I and I've always been like a big fan of her she's the best she's so she's cute so and I actually nice. did listen to her the podcast of you like of her when she's she came on and she's just so like she's just so fun to listen to she's so also she, just like she's a so very cute. good pre- she's she such is. a good presence she is like when she came in like she was just yeah. very calming and sweet and I think a yeah. lot of people maybe don't expect that totally. from her and she's the nicest yeah. I love Indie yeah. So, yeah, so anyways, fangirl I fangirled sure. over her. Fan- I mean, I Absolutely. fangirled when she sat right there. I was like, <laughs> I'm shit myself. Like, yeah, I, honestly, everybody who comes which on is so that cool I don't though, know. Because that means she's following your stuff, like, still. Like, yeah. she's like, oh, you like, know, yeah. she's, no, she's the best. Yeah. I love her. I love her. Well, then don't you love people that I feel like are that big? And they, it's like, they, they're humble. They're humble and, and they still like, personable. Treat you. yeah. Yeah. Because I'm like, I think that's one of my hardest things in this industry going back to that. I'm like, I feel like people that are like, have a big following they feel entitled and treat you less than yeah and i'm like so it's so funny to even watch like when i was from like at like 10k or 30k how people would treat me compared to like now it's like people treat me differently and i hate it i'm like i i am a like i'm a normal person and i hate people that have a big following and i can see that they treat people less than or little or they expect to be treated differently because of their following you go to an event and it's like the people that have a bigger following at this event or this like retreat feel like we are entitled you people that have that yes. many followers. Oh, yeah. No. Do it. It's an well, icky Well, even place. now, like... I'm like, well, it's cool Indie, like, doesn't... Oh, Indie like, was... And I, I think I've said this before in an episode. Yeah. She was my first guest. I guess I have to give her credit, though, because she's also the only guest that came when I, my kids were here. <laughs> but she walked in, and the first thing she said, she was like, can I see your baby? Stop. And, like, immediately wanted to go Aww. see Banks and just was so personable yeah. and, like... I, I mean, I have a lot of people How come cute. on this show. Well, they're here to and they're here like, to, talk to talk about, about themselves, themselves so you know? To be like, I want to talk about exactly. her and, you know, ask exactly. that. That's so cute. it's, it does, it doesn't go unnoticed yeah. for and sure. And then it's like, like, you remember little things like that. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I remember when I've met certain people when I was like, didn't have as big of a following. I remember how they treated me. And it's yep. like, that does not leave me, like, my mind. Yep. Like, you know. Well, now, big... I mean, I only have 14,000 followers on like, Instagram. What? But like. Now give us I your TikTok. literally I, I, TikTok, I just, TikTok I have 11,000 okay I have less I'm on sure. TikTok so I can't really brag about I'm, it um, no, I'm, but that's like crazy to me because I when I started this I had zero like yeah. I'm n- no. not an influencer at all but I've had people who have yeah. unfollowed my personal page from back in the day yeah. when I was a nobody because they just like didn't like me or something they're now trying to request to follow me again Stop. on my personal and I'm like, mm, uh, now you want to see what's going now on. Now you want to like see my life yeah. and be my friend. Yeah. Interesting. So your personal is private. My personal is private. I, okay. That I know. I like wish at points of times I would have like, I think I done I, mine. It's hard for me to like, I never want to like judge a parent who shows their kids because I feel no, like it's very different for me because I didn't start as an influencer. Yeah. I feel like if you started doing family content, yeah. you can't really pull away from that. Right. Like you can't make your Instagram totally. private. I got to start mm-hmm. my page as just, weekly yeah. trash like yeah it was never Josie's family page totally so I was always able to make my personal private and yeah. keep that part private which is so nice and so I feel really lucky that I got to do that because yeah. I I think it's really hard for some people who don't want to post their kids anymore yeah. but they're like that this is my only page totally. and this is I where I started absolutely like slowed down on sharing yeah. my kids I've like lately because I've been pregnant and I'm like yeah eh. so 
fitness has gone down a little bit that I've shared more of like family life. But there was a point in time where I'm like, yeah, I've like backed off of. And yeah. it's funny because people will be like, stop saying their names. But it's so hard because I'm like, that's how I like started this page. And like, yeah, stop saying their feels, names. Yeah. Like sharing personal information since this stuff has happened. Oh, but, but the people it's already so, know their names. Yeah. And it's hard for me because I'm like, I don't call that. Like, it's just like not natural. So, and I try to be natural in there. So I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah Hudson or Joby. I or, feel like that's that's I yeah mean, so i mean i mean some people you can always are more do private, better but yeah well i said this on a podcast episode before like it's not my kid yeah so like i'm gonna parent my kids and yep. i'm gonna do what's best for my kids yeah. and my family but i have no judgment towards the way anybody do who it. does it with their own Absolutely. kids because at the end of the day they love their yeah. kids more than i love their kids yep exactly that like is, yeah at the end Good of the way day to look at it so but for me no. personally like i i've seen like requests come in on my uh-huh. private page and it's like a weirdo and i'm yeah. like the fact that if I wasn't private, you could yes, just follow. see my kids. Yes. So, and I'm not like super strict on like my private. Like I yeah. still let like yeah, trashers, quite a like few people, people who follow. listen, who Absolutely. podcast. My big thing is I just have to make sure I have at least one mutual friend. Yeah. If there's oh, not yeah. one mutual friend, then I probably won't well, accept yeah. it. And it's not even a mutual in the sense that like you, I have to follow them and you have to follow yeah. them. Like even if somebody I follow follows you. Yeah. Then you then feel Then I'm like, okay, it. you're a real person. Yeah. You know? I think that's really smart. And I'm but, like, I wish I would have like done that. Like, it, that's the thing is like when I started, I had no idea that it was going to like, that I was, and like, that's how, what was going to happen. That's how majority of people so, are. And I, I mean, there, but there's also the people who like do make family content and yeah. that is how they make yeah. money. And like, good for you too. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. I don't judge you. That is your life, your yeah. kids, whatever. Yeah. But like for me, I'm like, it is a scary world though. And like, like something like this that's happened. I'm like, oh, it makes me rethink a yeah. lot of things. Yeah. So. No, for sure. The world's yeah. scary. There's creeps out there. Well, I'm like, why did I put my last name in my like name? Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's like so many things that have been like going through in my head. And I'm like, why did I do that? Or why did I? But it's sad but that we have to be I so know, like. I know. Careful. You know, though, I was like super shocked. I was like, I was thinking I was going to get some backlash or like mean or comments. And like, I will say I'm like that, like everyone on there has been like, I maybe got like one or two that were kind of. But no one that like I care about. Or like, you for what? Well, just that I shared that story. Oh, okay. Or just like thinking like, why would you even share this? Like, or like, and the, I, w- I went back and forth. I'm like, do I share it? Do I not? Like, are, are you like, is this going to make things worse? Will people like, th- you know, think this or that? Or yeah. like, is it safe to share? Is it not? But also I like, I kind of wanted to, to blast out there a little bit because I'm like, okay, at least some people know about it. And then even if he is watching, like, yeah. it's like people have seen his face. People know who is like, I don't know. I'm like, yeah. And, you, and then, yeah, you feel almost obligated to share these things that happen in your life. Cause that's what you've put yourself like out there to do. Yeah. But, um, everyone's comments were like so sweet and nice and supportive. And like, it was, I'm so sorry Good. this happening. You're like so scared. And like, I was thinking I'd get more backlash for it anyways. But, um, but yeah, I'm like, it's you. Yeah. I'm like, it's you freaky. just never know with what it's you're freaky. posting out there. If you're like, yeah, it is freaky with who's watching and like the outside of your house, like where you yeah, live. Cause like, I'm pretty open, like with like, obviously I live in Draper, yeah. like, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. but I try to be really careful never to show the outside of my house, okay. the n- and number of my house. That's the biggest regret. Like that's my biggest regret. Cause I did show that. Yeah. Yeah. So that, but that's hard too, because like in the beginning yeah. you didn't have a phone. Like yeah. that's why well, I've showed it recently though. Like oh, okay. not necessarily like obviously not my house number or anything like that but like a little new bit of kind of what yeah 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 gotcha yeah gotcha. it's so, hard yeah, it's, it's hard like, i know but we're all just trying to do our best and just hopefully the freaks will stop freaking you know but let's do trash topic okay, can we're gonna it. end on this one trash topic can is brought to you by road to baby did you know that one in eight people in the u.s alone struggle with infertility and have difficulties growing their family the team at road to baby understand the pain and frustration that can come with infertility and they are there to help you navigate that often bumpy road to parenthood. Road to Baby is a surrogacy, egg, and sperm donation agency based out of San Diego, California, who connects those in need with surrogates, egg donors, and sperm donors to help them grow their family. Road to Baby believes in fairly compensating those who make these dreams of parenthood come true. First-time surrogates working with Road to Baby receive a minimum of $56,000 for their incredible dedication, Egg donors are generously compensated at $10,000 per donation, and sperm donors each earn $5,000 for their first donation. If you've ever considered becoming a surrogate, egg donor, or sperm donor yourself, I encourage you to reach out to Road to Baby. You have the power to change lives and make parenthood dreams come true. And wait, there's more. If egg, surrogacy, or sperm donation isn't for you, but you know someone who might be a perfect fit, you can earn $1,000 in referrals for egg and sperm donors and $6,000 or more per surrogate referral. If you or someone you know is struggling with infertility, remember that you are not alone. 
the experts at Road to Baby are there to help you navigate this often challenging path to parenthood. Their experience and guidance can make all the difference in your journey. Road to Baby exists to help growing families and creating a life-lasting connection and making dreams a reality. If you're ready to take that first step or just curious to learn more about the process, schedule a free consultation with Road to Baby. Visit www.roadtobaby.com. R-O-A-D-T-O-B-A-B-Y.com. Trash Drop a Can is also brought to you by BioRestoration. BioRestoration is the first his and hers anti-aging clinic. When you walk into their facility, you can expect cutting edge state-of-the-art treatments that have been proven to be effective in helping you age gracefully. And they are looking forward to helping you be the best version of you. They offer a plethora of treatments, medical aesthetics, injections, hormone therapy, peptide therapy, IV therapy, sexual wellness, women's wellness, medical weight loss, to name a few. I'm currently working with them on the medical weight loss and they have helped me navigate which medicine I wanted to go with and have been with me every step of the way, making sure I feel confident in the journey. So go to biorestoration.com and schedule your consult today. And if you want to get started on a weight loss journey, mention Weekly Trash and receive an exclusive $200 off your treatment. I need to write some new ones. Oh, so cute. I never knew it was like this little mini. Well, it used to be that big one. Let's Okay, and if it's not a good one? If it's not a good one, we pick another one. Okay, let's hope it's a good one. Hopefully it's a good one because I gotta piss. I, <laughs> How do you I, not have to pee? I, I stopped. Remember, I like, didn't drink anything else. Yeah. So okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Pick three people to be stuck on an elevator with for five hours. An elevator. An elevator. Okay, that is my. Do you write these? Or fear? Or she write I write these? them. But okay, I should okay. start having you write them, so then I don't know. Because I they want are. you to answer too. Oh yeah, I will. Okay. Okay. An elevator is my biggest fear oh, in general. Is it? Like Stop. I have nightmares of being stuck. Wait, I what? I was never a claustrophobic person yeah. until after babies. Did you ever get stuck or anything on an no. elevator? But like I am, I hate going in elevators. Okay. I go into them obviously, yeah. and I like I act like I'm not scared. Yeah. I put on my brave my brave yeah, face yeah, yeah. and I go in an elevator. But you deep down hate it. But I hate it. I hate it. So like just to be in an elevator would yeah. terrify me. Ooh, yeah. So five people to or three no, three three people. people for five hours. Ooh, five hours is a long time too. Okay, Tyler Cameron. Yes, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I gotta have someone hot in there. Um, maybe honestly, the president. I think that'd be really Ooh, interesting. Yeah, just okay. to like, yeah, just ask a bunch. Maybe of questions. Maybe not the current president. Okay, okay. Like, I was like, huh, he's, okay. Not because I like him, yeah. but because I'd want to know the secrets. Yeah. And actually, Biden might or, be perfect because he's you know delusional. What? They would get you out of there quick. Exactly. If like, you're with the president, like you're getting, you're out, getting out of, the out of there way before yeah. five hours. And like Biden is a little like loony, so maybe yeah. I could somehow convince him to tell, to tell me secrets. You. Yeah, when he's like, panicked. Okay, in the so elevator. Tyler Cameron, Joe Biden, um, <laughs> and oh man, mm. I need somebody who would make me laugh. Yeah. Kevin Hart. Oh yeah, I think Kevin. All Hart, men, absolutely. no women. <laughs> yeah. Because no I, because I, because I would, I think like other women would be you. Panicking. Yeah, you have picked three people that so, would. Yeah, the looks. The, the funny, smarts, like the, de- you know, yeah, the dive secrets, deep the and the juice. funny. Yeah. yeah. So you got, yeah. those are Kevin some Hart, good ones. Tyler Cameron, Joe Biden. I don't know if I can beat those. Mm. Okay. I love women. I swear. Like yeah. <laughs> I support women, but like I just need all men in my I, elevator. Yeah. I think they'd keep the cool. They'd keep yeah. the calm. Yeah. Make feel, make you feel safe. Yes. Yes. You know, you'd get all the attention. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> I'm the, the damsel in distress. Like, oh, everybody. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. Okay. Who would I get? Oh. I feel like maybe I want like some strong guy to like be able okay. to like pry the doors the open. Rock? Like maybe the rock. That's what I was just going to say. Okay. I'd, I'm not like a huge fan. Like I, I, I like him. Yeah. Maybe though, you know, like CJ, if like man crushes him over more than I do. Ooh, yeah. actually, no, not, no, 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 no. Not okay. the rock. Scratch. Who's the guy that just won the Olympia? Cam. Cam uh, no idea. Okay. What's the this, Olympia? I don't even know. Is that bodybuilding? Olymp- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So and that's so he's not my at least world. like attractive is, and he's big. So like he'd be able to pry the CJ doors open. Is CJ bodybuilding now? No, 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 no. Oh, but okay. he follows. He okay, likes to okay, watch okay, and like okay, follow. Okay. We both do. Okay. I mean, not like, obviously I don't even know his name. So not that close. <laughs> Cam? <laughs> that's his name? I think. <laughs> okay. I should know sure. that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just Seabum. That's his name. Seabum. I don't know his real name. Okay. His Instagram handle is Seabum. He's in the elevator. He's attractive. He's For strength, not for looks? Both. Okay. He's attractive. But he's like, I mean, he'd take up half of the elevator, so that might be an issue. Half? I mean, he's a big guy. Whoa. Not half, but I mean, he'd take up some room. Okay. He's like okay. the rock. This is a normal okay. size elevator. But he'd at least be able to like pry the doors okay. open or okay. make me feel safe, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so him, and I would like to ask him like a bunch of questions. 
these are such maybe stupid do some answers. like push ups. I'm gonna regret these answers no, later. Okay, no, no. I think I would have to like copy you on Kevin Hart. Yeah, you I went to his comedy funny. show. You gotta have someone funny. Funny. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin Hart's funny. Yeah. Another funny person that would be nice yeah. to have in the elevator because I feel like Kevin Hart may be funny on stage, but like yeah, in real life he right. might be like depressing. Yeah. Is the co- the comic? Um, oh, well, the Johnson Files would actually be funny. Johnson Files would be. <laughs> I want to be stuck we in an elevator with him. with him. I guess I'm going to his show. We went last year. Where, got, when is it's it? It's in Provo. It's on the 27th. Oh my gosh. It's oh, December. 20, I'm like, it's today. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> no, the 27th, the 28th of December. Okay. At We're the going, Wise Guys? Um, I don't know. I don't remember what it, it is. I know it's okay. Provo. Okay. I don't remember what Provo. Okay. it says. Okay. You got to okay. go. He would be funny. Fun. So I feel be like funny. Kevin Hart might not be yeah. funny in the elevator. Yeah. He might just like be on his phone yeah. and be like, yeah, I'm annoyed He might be like, ugh, yeah. I'm way cooler yeah. than all of you. Yeah. He, I don't know though. Who he, knows? Who knows? Yeah. Kevin Hart. John's Files will you know. He'd like bring he'd the be energy. Be, he'd be like he'd calm be the mood. Okay. John's Files so or yeah. Kevin Hart. One of them. A comedian. And then who's someone I just want to ask a lot of questions to? I feel like Ellen. Like I know some people don't like Ellen. But but like Ellen like would keep get the, the mood juice. in there. Yeah, get the juice. She doesn't she knows all the dirty details on everyone famous. Or do you get what's her name? Doyle? Something um she's a she's a podcaster. Um we could do I'm hard just thinking th- of Susan we Doyle. Could, <laughs> wait, wait, that's my normal name. She's from America's is. Got Talent. No, no, no. This girl, so she does her podcast is We Can Do Hard Things. I don't know who that okay. is. Okay. And she like just like she's a deep. She's is a she, deep. She's person. a writer, she's an author. I think so. I think she does have a book. Yeah, Doyle. But I feel like um, she just like talks about all types of topics, you know. And okay. I feel like maybe she'd be, be refreshing. Fun to, like I won't have to do any talking. I could just be like, listen, give me all your insight on life. Yeah. She no, has I like, like really good like insights on life and like how she thinks. I just like really like. I love it. So yeah, she, what's yeah. her first name? Oh my gosh, I'm I don't know. Lennon, Lennon Doyle, Glennon, right? Glennon, 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 Glennon Doyle. Doyle. We can do hard things. Okay. So she was like married to a guy. She has kids. And then she like found out she, and then she like, she's a lesbian now. But like her, her like thought. Okay, her, wait, wait, wait. The one that now she has blonde short hair. Uh-huh. She had the documentary. Yes. Yeah, maybe she's married to a, yeah, she, she has blonde short hair. And now she's married. And then she's married to a brunette with long hair. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm short. someone else. Okay. Okay. I think short blonde hair, but like her, her perspective on life. I just like, she's refreshing. Like Is she from Utah? Um, no, like, I doubt it. I feel like literally everybody is from Utah. So yeah, you never I do. Know. Yeah, I don't think know. she is. Okay. All right. Yeah. I like those answers. Those are, I think those, those are good it. answers. Uh, you know, what's so funny. If you want to have gone first, I would have been that boring ass person that said, uh, my mom <laughs> has... <laughs> You yes. would have said you I don't know. Know my mom. But I literally, I, I would <laughs> never want to be stuck in an elevator with my mom and dad. Like, like shoot just, me in the head. Like, why no. Do I, not think anyone famous? I probably no. would have said. I probably would have said. CJ. My dad to keep me calm. No, CJ. No, 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 no. no? Well, you know, okay. like we're with each other enough. Like five yeah. hours just sitting there. Five together. hours in like, the elevator. What would we talk about? Like the people, like, who, eh. the people who would choose their husband. Like we would just have sex. Yeah. We'd like fuck. Like bullshit. Like go away. Get like, away from I, me. I actually wish I was that person. Like I wish I was like me that cool. Like no. I want five hours to just fuck in the <laughs> no, like, no. my dad I'm like okay you keep me calm and keep me cool he knows yeah. my personality yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I, like but I was I'm not as cool as you'd be like oh I like would never no. like dream of being like yeah I'd be stuck in an elevator with Tyler Cameron Joe <laughs> Biden and Kevin yeah, Hart yeah. or Jason Biles who knows yeah, who knows honestly well Aubrey so you're thanks so best. much for coming on you Weekly Trash this was I so honestly fun. feel honored like I'm like no like, I'm honored so many cool people have sat, sat in the seat I know it was really I cool honored. it is really cool so you're the best I feel like I should like switch the seat and maybe I can get some of like yeah, the, the vibes, successful like this, vibes yeah. and juice. Stop and, it. Like, you are so successful. Here. Every we're person that here. I know like knows you and loves your podcast. Oh, and and so you're nice. always like if someone like posts like my favorite podcast, you are in top two. Weekly, the weekly, you really makes, are. Every single day. person I see, like people that love you, day. love your podcast. Well, that's so nice, Aubrey. So. But I've literally been following you since 2016. Okay, well, that, like, I, like, so I'm so confused how you like, so uh, ju- maybe it wasn't 2016. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I literally feel like I have been following you so forever. Funny. So yeah. it's so crazy that you're just you saw right me here. from the very beginning. Yeah, started from the Listen, bottom. Now yeah. you're here. And look at you. Look at yeah. you. Look at Anyways, you. Well, Everyone needs to follow you on Instagram. You have two E's oh, in your Instagram. Yes, now. I know because Aubrey has like an E on the end, and then it's like another E with Edgington, kind of yeah. confusing. So everyone needs yeah. to make sure to follow Aubrey. Yeah, you guys are are you on TikTok? Yeah, but barely. Like I like got like I like post maybe every like four months six months hey you just gotta keep that door open you never, i know i don't know how people do it all can't, you know t- and here's the thing i like being on tiktok more than i like being on instagram so like i need to get over on there what if you made your tiktok just like not even fitness yeah, it's yeah. just like aubrey but here's the thing i'm like not good at that 
I'm actually mm. like I like I'm like not good at just like making content to just like make content. Gotcha. Like I feel like I make content for work, like for a purpose. Like yeah. So I'm like, and I wish I was better at it. I want to. Yeah. So that's one of my goals. It's like silly, funny, goofy videos. That's like my maybe that should be my like 2024 goal. 2024 yeah. goal. Because like no, it is refreshing, but like okay, yeah, also yeah, yeah. no, because like, like that's just more on your goal. play and like TikTok. Yeah. No, if you want to make it your goal, but I'm just make like, it your goal. Make it like a fun goal, not to grow on there, but, but just like be like because like, yeah. I do love like Rachel Parcell how she like just shows her yeah, personality on there, and just like, like YOLO. Instagram, you don't get to see a whole bunch. Maybe of your goal can just be more vulnerable. Yeah, be more vulnerable and be yeah, more yeah, yourself yeah. on yeah. on, okay. on yeah. any social. That's what I do need to do. Because like sometimes here's the thing: when you share something, like let's say like you're feeling vulnerable in the moment, you're like, okay, I'm gonna share this. You get on and share. You go on back on four hours later when you're out of that mood and you're just like cringe, like you're delete, like, delete, delete, delete. Yeah, because you're not in that mood you're anymore. You're not in that mood anymore. But also, I bet there's so people like, who are like, yeah. how many mean like, oh my gosh, I love this because they can relate yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to be better. But also, like, yeah, cringe. Right? I like I watch old videos of myself sometimes <laughs> and I'm like, I hate myself. <laughs> Same. Like, you know? I watch back but... stories and I'm like. That's like when I feel like my story views were the highest, but I'm like, ooh. No wonder they were the highest. Yes. Everyone's making fun of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's literally exactly me right. right now. I'm like, I'm going to look back on my life and be like, why oh, are you talking like that? Or for like this that? podcast, I black out. I'm going to go re- – I actually probably won't re-listen, to be honest. No, you I will. can't listen to myself. You will. Ooh, you'll I don't really know. listen. Everyone says they don't, and then really? they do. Okay, okay. They do. But like, or I, you could watch it on YouTube. I feel like I've blacked out through that this whole thing. Like, I don't know what I've said. It's fine. And now I'm like going to go back and be like, ooh. It's fine. So. It's fine. I'll go through. Yeah. I'll, I'll edit any yeah, like yeah, yeah. any bad things. Psych. No, I won't. <laughs> okay, you guys. I hope you okay. have the best week ever. Solo podcast is on Thursday. There's exciting news happening tonight, which would be, or no, it's going to be yesterday for you. But tonight for me, I am announcing a cute, fun, exciting giveaway thing. But I guess I can tell it because Stop. you guys are going to be listening yeah. the next day. Um, One of the trashers is going to be on the podcast for the first episode of 2024. I'm going to pick a trasher. So make sure to go to the post, Stop. comment your trash and why you should be coming and taking it out. And then I'm also going to spoil you with a fun day of fun things and some of my favorite stuff. Oh my gosh, I did fun. that last year. That is such a cute idea. And it's just fun to like have somebody on the yeah. podcast that like listens yeah. religiously and like they're not they're, an influencer and, and, and yeah like, their input on it. i feel like it'd be fun yeah. for them to like kind of like yeah talk yeah. about um my last time i did it she she was the best and her husband yeah. had kidney failure and so we talked about uh, kidney failure and it just it always works out like yeah. whoever comes on it ends up being a great episode yeah. so i'm super excited to I'm see excited. who ends up getting it so go look for that post go comment enter to be on weekly trash and I love you guys. And Aubrey, I love you. Thanks for having me. And love don't forget. Guys. I love all the trashers. I know. The trashers the best. are the You do. Best. You have a great community. A, yeah, I mean, do. we're... Do you hate that word? Like, what else do we call the community? I just call them good. trashers. Yeah. That, yeah. You, I need a word. You need a word. I need a word. What's, you, hate community. But I'm like, what else do you call it? See, this one, I'm not creative. Right. Um, let's see. Mm. We'll think on it. The, the fitness girlies. It's like, see, that's ugh. so generic and broad. You need something specific. Yeah, you're just cool. I like you the trashers. The, you, well, you have merch. Yeah, kind of, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So, like, we we'll can figure we'll, something we'll out. We'll work around it. We'll creative. figure it out. Okay. Well, you guys love ya, and don't forget to take out your trash.